Greetings and welcome to Dungeon Runners. We are joined today by our elusive cast and our special guest Lisa. Um, as uh, we had a, a player, our, an unfortunate. <laughs> Excellent. Um, we, had, we had an unfortunate uh, loss of our friend uh, Ben playing Milo. Did, uh, yes, no, his internet died, um, which is basically the same thing in this world. Um, but uh, yeah, let me think of that host. Um, we are we are here playing through uh, the Lost Minds of Fandelver and Horde of the Dragon Queen. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and start by reminding everyone here how everyone can interact with the game. Um, if you guys haven't been here before, haven't seen it, um, it, donations can impact the game. If you want to uh, give a player inspiration, if you really love Lisa's character, Flurry, who's showing up today, and want to show her some love, you could d donate $2, give her inspiration. If you really absolutely hate Ishman, you could go ahead and throw him 5 bucks for a nat 1. Um, or if you love uh, Kaylin even more, you could throw her a nat 20 uh, for another 5 bucks. So those are how you can interact. Nat 1 or nat 20 for 5 bucks and, and inspiration for, uh, for 2. Um, also, uh, a $5 subscription on GameList gives you all the same benefits. You can get a, a nat 20 or nat 1 um, to a player. Um, and you also get a bunch of other cool perks from that, like uh, sound effects and uh, a Discord role and other cool stuff. So uh, consider subscribing on GameWisp. I will say I love your face in the pale moonlight. I'll say that. Um, so yeah, uh, that is what we're looking at. But... Um, I will go ahead and defer to my players here, uh, to introduce themselves, their characters, and, uh, what, uh, give us a little bit of a, a information, who you're playing, what they look like, and all that good stuff. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and start with our latest player for this, uh, this one campaign, our guest, Lisa. <laughs> awesome. Mm, the baking bollard. I love it. Um next up we have <laughs> Oh, that you can't hear anyone. Shit. Uh oh. Oh good. Now you can is hear everyone me. I fixed it. Is, no, 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 are we all were we all muted? Yes, I had all Man, of Man, and I just told the best joke. <laughs> and it's too bad. Lisa, let's go ahead and introduce your character again. Right. I'm very sorry that I'm no And this way I won't, get a, I won't get my own information <laughs> wrong, because that's God, this. cool. <laughs> Hi, uh, Lisa Lee, and I am Lisa Bell on Twitter. And I am <laughs> Danger Lily on Twitch. I got it right this time. Yeah. Uh, it was a long con. It was a long, fun con. So, um, like that, I'm playing Flurry, and she's a bard. And she um, she likes to bake things that charm people. <laughs> and she, but don't make her mad. She likes to help, but don't make her mad because she'll get sassy. Excellent. That's excellent. I love the bacon bard. A bacon um, bard now? Bacon oh, bard. Ooh, can she bake after bacon? My own heart. I'll, I'll put bacon, bacon in your brownies. Bacon, bacon, That's bacon, <laughs> bacon brownies. Oh, man. Gracious. I think. That sounds. Well, maple bars, magical. really. Bacon and maple. <laughs> um, and uh, next up, uh, Pablo. Who are you going to be playing today? Uh, my character's name is Pete. He's like Bob Ross, except he wields a staff and can turn into animals and loves nature and loves killing mean things. I'll, I'll, taint, I'll paint with their blood. Nice. <laughs> I went to eat my cat. Absolute killer. All over my face. <laughs> Also, oh looks my like god! Some unfortunate news. Uh, Ayami, that is not good news. Um, everyone, just everyone have uh, sent out some good thoughts to Ayami right now. Um, it sounds like she's not in good shape. Um, she's oh. like a, a really good friend and friend of the channel and everything. So, 
um, send her some some prayers, thoughts, whatever it may be. Um, gotcha, gotcha. We'll, we'll be that. thinking of her tonight. Um, but uh, moving moving on to um, four. Who are you going to be playing today? Me. I'm just four playing Kurg Voltstone, who is a dragonborn. It's hard to say what he was before he came to this place called Phandalin. Could be a mercenary, but he certainly has an air about the high seas. He just sort of leaped into the fray that happened in uh, this town as raiders and cultists were running around. You know, you can't have that. It's bad for the economy. And we'll see where he goes with this this fancy fellow group as things go on. And yeah, he's a fighter. And I'm I'm just four. I'm cute. Hi. <laughs> he's, he's pretty cute. <laughs> Um, and next up, Lindsay. Who are you playing? I am playing Kaylin Amastasia, the Wood Elf Ranger. And she hates dragons with a passion because they caused a volcano to erupt that burned down her village. And so her life goal is to kill dragons, and she hates stupidity. So, Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> Poor Pete. Poor Pete. <laughs> Poor Pete for Milo. Pete for Milo. Poor Kurg, also dragonborn. She's yeah. been taking me well so far. <laughs> He helped me kill the dragon, so I mean, That's fair. well, not kill, hurt. Yeah, in the butt. I mean, you, I, you, I, I got the head, in you the got butt. the butt. So mm -hmm. yeah, mm. yeah. <laughs> There's some coordination there. Mm -hmm. Um, and Ishman, last but certainly not least. I mean, least but certainly not uh, last or well, both this time. Um, <laughs> hi, I'm Ishman on Twitch and Twitter. Uh, you can see me in here. You can see me on that channel. I'm all over the place. You can't get rid of me. I'm like a bad itch. Uh, I am playing the half elf. Cleric, uh, war cleric, Hadric Yonsling. Uh, he is kind of a gladiator. He goes from town to town fighting for money to send back home to uh, the temple of the man who raised him after he was orphaned. Uh, he doesn't like that he has to... Well, he loves fighting. I'm not going to lie. He loves to fight. <laughs> That's him. Awesome. Awesome. Um, and let's remind everyone what has been going on in this humble town of Phandalin. Some bullshit is what's been going on. Some some bullshit. So um, these players, these characters, have been wandering around after being tasked with locating the lost mine of Fandelver, um, a secret mine which uh, once held the key to making magic weapons in the Forge of Spells. Um, it was long lost to time, but they met a pair. They met a dwarf. Um, Jord Jordan Rockseeker, who uh, told them of the uh, the location of it, who shared with them a map. Um, they unfortunately lost this dwarf in in a terrible fight later on after he was kidnapped, um, and traveled about, discovered, uh, went back to Kalen's hometown of Thunder Tree long destroyed to find a dragon living there. After one failed attempt at killing the dragon, they returned. Um, Single ladies. <laughs> one failed attempt and one lost party member. They returned um, and were finally able to defeat the dragon and retrieve the green dragon mask from it. Um, a mask of mysterious power which a strange dragon cult had been admiring, and the dragon seemed to have an interest in as well. Oh my god, that cat cam. <sighs> um, but uh, after, after defeating that dragon, they went to return to Phandalin and found it to be under siege. They... Uh, the skies were dark and stormy, and circling above was a giant blue dragon, menacing and striking lightning upon the village. The city on the ground was also under siege by a horde of cultists and raiders who were invading buildings and taking what loot they could. Um, they were able to scare off the dragon, um, but... Uh, along the way, they lost the green dragon mask to an incredibly powerful dragon cultist leader. Um, 
who wore a dragon mask of her own. Um, after scaring off the dragon, they, they returned to the Town Master's Hall, which was under siege yet again by more raiders and cultists, and were able to handily defeat uh, those attacking there. Um, upon defeating them and scaring off the remaining raiders, they entered the Town Master's Hall and met up with Sister Grail, a lady of the church, or of a church of sorts. Um, the Order of... God, what was the order called? Harpers. It's escaping me. Harpers. The Harpers. She was one of the Harpers. She, she was one of the members of the Order of the Harpers. And she informed the crew that the cultists who were attacking this town were ones she had heard of. Ones who sought to resurrect the Dragon Queen, Tiamat. And that is where we left off. So, um, this uh, Sister Grail has just informed you that these cultists have uh, are trying to resurrect the Dragon Queen and wreak havoc upon the land. How do you react? Okay. <laughs> you can go. <laughs> is she part of this cult who wants to re resurrect Tiamat, or is she no, no, no. just she's explaining? A, she's just explaining the, the yeah, cult. She's um okay. she's a member of the Harpers, which is another organization which, uh, as far as you know, works against those. Um, yeah. I'm gonna um, ask Sister and Grail. Lisa, I'll say Ooh. you're at this point. You're somewhere in the Town Master's Hall, and at any point, if you want to walk in, introduce right. yourself. Feel free. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna walk up to Sister Grail and be like, "If we need to stop this cult from resurrecting the Dragon Queen, I am gonna need a bow. <laughs> Do you know anyone in this town alive that would have one?" <laughs> well, uh, there's uh, the owner of the Lion Shield Coster. He he would probably have some. If not then him, then certainly the the army of the town would have some. Thank you. <laughs> hmm. I guess I turn to everybody and uh, congratulate them. I thump all of you sort of individually on the back, just like doo, doo, doo. and I uh, turn to. We had captured a cultist last time. To the woman and just say, well, I don't know how to kill a big dragon god, I'm afraid. Or where they may be. They were getting a horde, though. You know, that's, yes. that's why they attacked, wasn't yes. it? Yes, it seemed that they were seeking riches for... The return of the Dragon Queen. She would not return without a sizable horde, I'm sure. Um, they... Well, they sought... power of some kind, too. I, I can't imagine they would choose this town over any other for no reason. They, from what I know of this cult, they come from far away, far, far to the south. Hmm. But well, we have one of them, at least captured. Maybe he has more information. I do think they did come here for uh, a certain uh, object that they might have actually gotten away with. Uh, and I sort of look over to Kaylin, like, it was probably that mask. Mask, you say? Yes, it was a mask. A dragon mask? Indeed. Unfortunately, it was in my possession, and I just met these people, so I'm just a I'm just a citizen. <laughs> this is worse than I thought. They're collecting the dragon masks. These chromatic masks they represent the colors of each of the chromatic dragons, and one for each of Tiamat's heads. If they can collect them all, they will be able to resurrect her, and she will once again reach, reach chaos. On the world. How many are there total? <laughs> um, does anyone know how many heads Tiamat has? Five. That many. <laughs> <laughs> well, we better get I, an early start. Or maybe I could have said something, but in character I was like, wait, uh, um. <laughs> <laughs> um, by the way, uh, last time Kirk and I were like holding this one guy hostage who was being a butt. 
and so I'm gonna sort of drag him back in my bear form, in my in my mouth, and just sort of roll <laughs> crown him in. Oh, that's so uncomfortable. <laughs> Turn back into a person <laughs> as I re regroup with everyone. Okay. <laughs> we can get some information from this one. He seems to be in more in the know than most of the the people. Hmm. Um. Yes, a cultist like him might have some information. I would not be the one to interrogate him, though. I, I, I'm not that intimidating, you see. Well, maybe we should head over to the tower, see about meeting up with the guards that remain there. The town has certainly diminished, but you have nothing to worry about. We're here if any trouble arises. Very well. If you do, uh, if you do choose to seek these fiends who are attempting to wreak this havoc, you will want to go south. It will, uh, it's a long journey, weeks at least, but we have someone who was looking into these cultists. He would be the best to reach out to. What is their name? Uh, his name is Leosin Erlanthar. Oh my, write that down for me. <laughs> Leosin? Yes. Leviathan. <laughs> uh, yeah. L-E-O-S-I-N E-R-L-A-N-T-H-R. <laughs> so that's spelled like it sounds, you know? Yeah. Uh, well, excellent. Um, <laughs> he's just south of here. Is there some sort of landmark that will let us know we've reached his uh, establishment? He's uh, hidden in the city of El Terrell. I don't know where you'd be able to find him for sure, for certain. El Terrell, though, what, uh, well, that, that should be enough for us to start an investigation. Yes. Since they already have two masks, that we know. Hopefully, hmm, hopefully we have enough time to <laughs> formulate. Or at the very least, we can alert somebody of higher authority. Tiamat is bad for everybody, so it's best to start spreading word to the the guilds and whatnot. Yes, that's that is a good idea. Hmm. I will send word to another organization that I know of who uh, has a hand in these things, so to speak. They might be able to help. Hey, Speedy, what all would I know about Tiamat? Roll me religion. We should probably go inform the, the people that are hiding in the mansion. Uh, that the attack is now, at least for a the moment, over. Minus two on a negative one. two. Yeah, you <laughs> are entirely sure that Tiamat is the platinum god. This is the second time this happened, so you're like really sure Tiamat Can is I the so platinum sure? god. Uh, no dragons involved. I don't think I've ever seen a negative two before. That's incredible. This is you're part a of cleric, my aren't you? I just, I just gave that. I, I can't. I have that. a minus three to my intelligence. Apparently. You're a cleric who got a negative two in religion. How Dear is, God. How is my... Did someone change my intelligence? It seems like it was way lower than it should be. Is this an April Fool's prank? What happened? <laughs> no. I feel like... That's really you don't... You don't get... It doesn't matter. You you know nothing about Tiamat. You've never even heard the name. Damn, that platinum goddess bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Do I know it's a chick? No. no You're pretty sure it's a dude. platinum bastard. <laughs> He well, okay, masculine. you you know you know enough because uh, Sister Grail like has just queen. informed you. So, <laughs> well, they talk to Sister Grail. I'm gonna go to the Lion Shield Coster and look for a bow. Well, hold yeah, up. at I'll, this I'll point, go with you. Um, I'll go with her. At, at this point, um, it's about like five a.m. Um, the the sun is just barely on the horizon. Um, the town is pretty much in shambles at this point. Lion Shield Coster looks like it's been raided. Um, huh, the doors yeah. have been busted down. Um, and uh, there's no one inside. I go and look in there anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Kaylin needs a bow. 
Um, yeah, if you want to go in there and roll me some perception. Yes, sir. Just her and me as well, because I said All I was right. going. Uh, if you, yeah, if you want to go as well. Right, there it is. 23. 23, yeah. Um, amidst the rubble, you uh, <laughs> managed to find... There's actually a good deal of things left in here. Um, it, it seems like the raiders were probably mostly only interested in gold and jewels and other such valuables. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, amongst the rubble, you can pretty much easily find a uh, a bow. Um, Thank you, Lord. I, I will remind you, though, this is a store. I, I will leave behind ten pieces of gold. She okay. takes care of it for me. Sure. I also take like 40 arrows if I can find them. <laughs> those are, those are self appointed tips for <laughs> all the arrows you wasted on the dragon. Sure. <laughs> Yay. Do you have a big enough quiver? Mm, yeah. Sure, totally. <laughs> um, so I'd like to do something pretty weird right now, Speedy. Mm -hmm. So I know Kurg doesn't know this group. Um, he only knows them because there was a lot of crazy stuff going on. Um, could he perhaps... He's, he's sort of like a resident of Phandalin, but he's sort of an outsider. Can he perhaps know someone in town who is journey-worthy and combat-oriented, or at least useful to our endeavors? Yes, I'll say that, um... Maybe someone who bakes? Yeah, Kurg, <laughs> Kurg having, spent, uh, having spent a little bit of time in town, uh, had met with a, uh, a, a bard woman who um, was uh, working and uh, playing her music and selling her baked wares in the Sleeping Giant Tavern. In hmm. Well, I suppose I'll just keep an eye out for her in this total <laughs> wreck of a town that we just saved. Like he's like <laughs> he's like orienting and positioning himself in like assessing the damage and like he's just very proud of what he's done. And <laughs> it's very like he's posturing, he's like twirling his trident around and he's like Ooh. He's doing like the whole Final Fantasy, like you just want to <laughs> da, 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 da. Um, Yes. <laughs> you can you uh, are able to find um uh your friend Flurry. Um, you see her uh, going, she's standing right next to a building that is still a little bit on fire and appears to be baking something over it. <laughs> you know, I figured you'd be doing something productive in a time like this. For... Oh, hello. Well, you know, uh, waste not, what not. Uh, you know, ovens destroyed over at the uh, guild hall, so um, making the best of it. Mm. <laughs> How are you doing? Well,. It's hard to say. I feel... And he just walks up and he just hugs you. Aww. Aww. He, just, he, just, he just says, I'm very happy that you're all right. I take a minute and I, and I, and I hug him back because I'm, I'm making the most of the situation, but... Things are destroyed. I'm, I'm cooking in rubble. So... <laughs> uh, the lack yeah. of an oven is a very distressing thing for you, I understand. Well... Uh, and and a roof and uh, and a bed and uh, listen, yeah, I, yeah. I think my loot's a bit singed, but I think mm. I can, I can. It was, it's playable, but it's a bit singed. It, it just gives it history, you know. Like absolutely, cheers yeah. to that. Cheers well, to that. Listen, Flurry, I'm setting out again. I know there's a lot of me you don't know. I may be like. An old soldier. Scales are a little dim, but there's a lot going on. There's some Tiamat business that this group here are probably going to tackle, and they're going to need help, at least for this stretch of the journey. I'm wondering if you'd like to introduce yourself. I don't know how much coin you'll make, but... Well, uh, uh, companies worth more than coin at this point, I'd say. And as I'm talking, I'm just absent-mindedly like like wiping schmutz and dirt and dust off his scales and just just kind of oh he's a mess he's a mess hmm. press digitating him a little cleaner just a little just a little cleaner, oh just you're a little thank you so um so uh if it's company and help you need um 
you know, I, I'm your bard. Hmm. I always knew you were. <laughs> and I take take her over to introduce to you guys. It says, this is the people that uh, have righteously saved this lovely little town that has made a very lovely mark in our lives. I don't know their names. <laughs> well, thank you for your service. Uh, hello. This is Flurry. Uh, She's excellent. An excellent bar. And I'm well, Boltstone. I don't know if I let you know that. Lots happen. Are we back yet or not yet? Uh, I, I'm guessing this is when we Yeah, this would be a big old group thing, I'd imagine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, where do you guys want to meet back up? At the bar. <laughs> At the bar. <laughs> yeah. At yeah. the sleeping giant. The yes. Sleeping giant. I need some goblins, cooch. <laughs> oh. I don't think it's going to be an operation uh, <laughs> for a while now. Some really expensive ale. Uh, you guys walk over to the sleeping giant. You see that its uh, its door is off the hinges, um, but it's still like pretty much intact. There's like tables and chairs knocked over, and you see uh, you see an old man uh, behind the bar, just like <laughs> with his head in his hands. Oh no! I walk oh. up and I put way too much gold in front of him for what I'm asking for. Like I'll pay twice as much for whatever bottle he gives me. Thank you, Sonny, but, well, we're fresh out of uh, any of the expensive stuff. I didn't say expensive. Well, that's awful kind of you. He pulls out a big barrel of, uh, of ale and pours you a drink. I uh, asked for a couple cups and one extra. For him to yeah. take the rest back. Oh, yeah, he's gonna need it. Yeah, he's just... oh, he looks like he fucking needs it. <laughs> oh, no. Um. Pours you uh, a few drinks. <sighs> this town's seen better days. Better days to come. Well, I don't see how this town was only holding it together as a trading post with uh, nothing left to trade. Yeah. Place hasn't been the same since the mines shut down all those years ago. We may be able to fix that. Uh, well, we uh, we know where the mines are now. You know where? Yeah, I meant to. I meant I was going to tell you uh, once you came back from wherever you went off to. We uh, we found out where the mines are, and I was hoping maybe we could take a stop by there to uh, maybe give this town something to. Pick back up, pick itself back up on. What mines are you speaking of, Pete? I've I've already showed you. I think. Uh, well, no. oh, you, you don't know about dragons. the. Would uh -oh. you, wouldn't you've already known about the mines, probably. Maybe. You told me about dragons. Oh, okay. Well, there's 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 a mine full of magic weapons and lots of you know ore, and uh, I, we've we've acquired the map to it. And I was thinking. I was gonna ask you, Kirk. Would you would you want to join our little group to try and help bring this place back to running business and explore this mine? And well, of course I would. I, I before this happened, I was working for the Miners Exchange. You've no idea how what a miserable job it is. Yes. What is the bartender's reaction as he's talking about bringing like getting the mines back up and running? Bartender, uh, oh bartender, like has like a glint in his eyes, like. Bring back the mines, you say? Oh, tell me, would you know where they are? <laughs> we, we, I have the information, uh, mm. but <laughs> uh, uh, I, I'm going to be with sharing that with down on his luck. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe someone a little higher up. I think. I'm sorry to say, but we'll, 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 we'll ask going first. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna clear out all the dangerous icky things that are gonna be in there, most likely. So just. I don't care. Fine. Did the old man just say he was down Good on his luck when he just handed like twenty gold? <laughs> like he has a pile of gold in front of me. It's like twenty gold I'm getting. Twenty like. gold is yeah, like... but it's an entire mine that makes magic weapons. Yeah, but like... you say he's down on his luck. He's just got twenty gold for shitty beer. I have. Well, he's down. Well, twenty gold the, for shitty beer compared the... to like the hundreds that he had before. That is all gone okay. now. Oh yeah. <laughs> and, and, and most of the building is most of the building gone as well. Is is it? 
Uh, his building. I mean, doors off its hinges. It's got to have yeah. a lot of repairs, right? It, it doesn't look too damaged. It's mostly just been kind of like ransacked, stuff tossed it's, over. It's more like for... the impact of the attack is going to affect the yeah. what happens to the end. The no entire way. the end, yeah. like yeah. Have I they wanna... had a, a short rest yet? Have they just come from fight? We just came from fighting. Yeah. I'm going to take out my loot and just play a little song of rest. Just kind of just kind of tinker around on my loot. Um, to, to make the bartender, yeah, make the bartender feel a little bit better because he looked worse for wear when we walked in. I'm gonna just yeah, roll me performance. Back to full. <laughs> do, do, do. My first ro- first roll of the night. Oh, you have a like I did. Fourteen plus. Where is it? Plus well, seven. Fourteen. What? Seven. Charisma yeah. modifier. You have a seven. She plus seven. Well, it's, she's proficient too, and since you were level five, it's plus oh, three. Oh, yeah. Damn. Yeah, 21. 21, 24 with a proficiency bonus. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, the old man has a sense <laughs> of ease about him now. Well, I'm sure with you lot on it, this town will be back and at it again in no time. Well, we appreciate it. Did any cheese survive? <laughs> cheese? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, yes, I am. Uh, I have a bit of a taste for cheese. Uh, do you have any uh, uh, tickle more or a mental uh, roquefort? Uh, Don't tell me you just have white cheddar. Well, I used to have more, but they took everything golden. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! No! <laughs> TMI! <laughs> Uh, this is where this is the reason you need revenge. <laughs> this is this is. Oh, tools off its hinges. This is what inspires him. <laughs> this to is fight. what Tools really off its hinges, Yeah. Um. He pulls out. He he pulls out like a large wheel of cheese. Oh, yummy! Oh man, Kirk wants that so bad, but I just want a slice. You know, to get the old tongue dancing. Sure, sure. <laughs> After these. uh you know, a little festivities. I think we might want to talk to the town master, maybe the Harper woman in Sildhar, and inform them of maybe the events we're gonna go into the mines, and maybe just we're all important now. This is lovely. <laughs> By the way, I'm sitting at the table now, drinking my hand, but mostly just nodding off. <laughs> what you time? Deserve a nap. Uh, <laughs> it's like at this point, like six a.m. Oh, so like Whoa! our chance to sleep? What? We miss no, I mean, you can sleep. still sleep for the day. Like, you've been up literally all night. Like, it's been a long night of fighting. I would yeah, like I want to take, like, a full sleep. rest. Yeah. I just yeah. want to go to sleep. Before I go to sleep, I want to The you know, uh, bartender everyone. says... Oh, you want to inform everyone first? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I guess we'll listen to Pete. <laughs> I mean, so they can maybe take action immediately. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, the, the bartender looks at you guys and, and says, Well, it's been a long night. If you need uh, somewhere to stay, I, I wish I could offer you a discount for what you're doing, but... Um, Times are hard, we'll really pay. I can't afford to anymore. Just gave him 20 gold. Times are hard, we'll, we'll pay. Well, um... And and have a have a brownie on me. Have a brownie here. Oh, I just, uh... Oh. Wait. Just Thank fresh baits, have a brownie. Uh, yeah. So we eat the brownie. Make a constitution. He'll eat, he's... That's my charm brownie. That's my charm. Brownie. Charm brownie? Oh. oh. <laughs> um, so is that like a, it has charm person on it or something? Yeah. <laughs> it's I, baked. As he it's... eats, I just start reaching for the brownies. Um, he's yeah, he, me. uh, He'll eat the brownie. He, does he need to make a saving throw for that? I think so. I believe it's... I think it's seven. Probably wisdom, right? I think it's wisdom. Most most of those are. Uh, Is he an elf or You got a 15. Your DC. I think her DC is 15. All right. It might be higher. Yeah, it's 15. But it's you 15. can use cutting words to lower... His spell safety is uh, Well, roll. I know you want this brownie. I know you want it. I mean, you haven't had any brownies. And... How's your kitchen doing? 
Uh, are you gonna uh, use uh, words? Yeah. What? So you yeah. roll your bardic inspiration and subtract it from Speedy's roll. <laughs> Why are you trying to charm this guy so hard? Charm person only works for like an hour, I, right? I, I just I just wanted a deal on the rooms. Oh, okay. I just wanted I just wanted a deal on the rooms. And make him feel a little better for a little while, you know. Like this is this is magic and marijuana. Yeah, charm There's person works for an hour. This. Yeah. That'll be a bit awkward when you wake up, but sure. Or what? If, well, how much? How much? How much do you want for the rooms? Uh, uh, how many rooms do you want? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, four. I'm big. I take the whole. It's five of us. It's five rooms. I'm gonna sleep in a tree, so that's what uh -oh. I do. <laughs> I feel more uh, comfortable four, there. So four, four rooms. Four rooms. Uh, well, let's call it. Two gold a room. I'd pay right, I'll pay that up. <laughs> okay, never mind. That's okay. It's a fine deal. It's a fine deal. It's all right. Thank you so much. No troubles at all. Thank you for what you're doing. Glad to help you get you back on your feet. Uh, yeah, to, we're great. Just trying to help. Just trying to help. Are you guys going to have a long rest here? I, I guess we might as well. Uh, I guess. We kind of deserve it. Like I've still yeah, got blood do. on my face. Like, <laughs> dried and I'll think, oh, well, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go into the orchard and sleep in a tree. Actually, no, I won't do that. I'll I'll go out into these woods. Yeah. Come on. Well, I don't want to be in the real public. All right, I'm gonna. Well, I'll you, go, also, you could also I'll change go and go sleep trees. in the eaves. Okay. I'll go sleep in the trees. I do that. I do that very often. Oh. Roll me perception. Oh, lovely. Uh, sure. I'm good at that. Let's not be bad. 24. <laughs> you see nothing. Oh, good. <laughs> okay. <Double well>. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, um, I would have made sure nobody would have walked across my path. You see, you see there. in the trees several birds flitting about, uh, various woodland creatures. A deer even walks by as you uh, are settled up in the tree. But, the... but no enemies. Okay, well, I'll take my little nap. Well, my, you know, let's hold full sleep, I guess. Uh, Fishman? Talk. Yeah, I can I'm hear. right here. You're a bit quiet. You're a little quiet, though. I'll see if I can boost. Um, yeah, so you guys can have your long rest. I snore loudly. <laughs> Okay, um, you guys wake up. Can you hear me up. now? Yes. Okay. So that's a little better. Okay. Um, you guys wake up and the, uh, the, it's now like three in the afternoon. Whoa! We, we slept hard. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Hey. Yeah, uh, I mean, that was only like, it was like nine hours. You got, you got a full night's rest here. Yeah, I would have, I would have, um, I would have informed everyone at the manor, by the way, that it was safe to come out before we went to sleep. Oh yeah, yeah I mean, uh, I, they yeah. assumably um, already did know because this man was now sitting in, in the sleeping giant. You saw him. I'd say you saw him in the manor before. Um, everyone's oh, okay. kind of cleared out already and is trying Ooh. to pick up the pieces. Um, but this bartender uh, uh, is now looking at all of you as you come down from the restaurant, and she's looking at Flurry, or he's looking at Flurry. What was in that brownie you gave me? Oh, well, um, fla uh, chocolate, cocoa, flour, eggs, uh, uh, things are scrounged, you know, just a typical one bowl brownie kind of recipe. Could my I mother's favorite. Check? My mother's favorite. May I insight check, my dear what? friend? Did, did you not sure. like it? Did, was it not, was it not all right? Is it alright with you? Uh, uh, I, I did the best I could. I did the best I could. I mean, you know. Uh, let's uh... see. <laughs> oh! Uh, that's a 19. Do I have okay. anything in deception? Do I have anything, anything? <laughs> Plus four. Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> I really good. did the best I could. Uh, I hope you liked it. it, it I'm sure. The chocolate I'm might sorry. have been a little stale. I, I don't. It it was good, thank you. It was it was good. 
Mm. Something afterwards uh, made me distrustful. It probably is nothing. It's just things oh, I'm have so been sorry. crazy. Right. Forgive mm. me. Uh, I, I, I only meant, you know, I only meant the best to help. It's okay. I understand. Right. And we will send word if if uh, if we get things sorted out with the mine. Good. We might good. have something to, to talk about later, you know, if it's if it's good up there. Mm -hmm. Yes, that would be good. But keep me. Please, please, please. <laughs> uh, right then, brilliant. We will. And uh. And we uh we should should be off then. Very well. Oh, do Which is luck. Be done. I'll uh I'll walk, walk into speed. the sleeping giant and be like, I've already gathered the uh Siltar and the, the town master and the Harper woman. Um I think I wanted to discuss the matter with them about the mines if uh you all wouldn't mind joining me. I'll join him. Why not? <laughs> Since I wasn't in the inn, I sort of <laughs> in for a penny. Let's go. All right. Bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Bless you. It hurts you. Give them tape. <laughs> Ooh. All right. So you're gathering everyone where? At the town master's hall. Okay. I'm sure it's not being like a refugee anymore. Yeah. Area, so. No. Um. The, the doors are noticeably battered from that ram, but uh, the insides are mostly, you know, well protected. There are a few people still sitting around inside. Actually, um, it, it, there's <coughs> a few children, people whose houses were assumably burned down. Um, Thaddeus, at this point, actually, um, is uh, seeing a child um, sitting alone and, like, very sad. He's going to walk up to him and... Uh, do and like see, go up to me like, what's what's wrong, boy? Why are you crying? And the boys are like, my my parents. <laughs> that is gonna be like, hmm, that doesn't sound right. I know exactly what's wrong with you. And he's gonna grab the boy on the head and uh, just be like, hmm, yes, yes. I think I know exactly what to do here. I walk up and I just like peel his hands off of him. As you as you peel his hands off of him, uh, he pulls out from behind the boy's ear a coin. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> he, he shows it to the boy and he's like, See? That's the problem! <laughs> You've got coins in your ears! <laughs> Silly boy. I'm uh, a little ashamed of myself now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> um, Thaddeus is, uh, is gonna stay here and keep doing like some little tricks for the kid. Okay. Um, while you talk. Oh. Okay. Let's... Don't give him any potions. Do <laughs> not do that. No <laughs> testing. <laughs> alright, alright. At least not on the children. <laughs> but I, I do have one. It's just some, uh, you know, candies, peppermints. No. <laughs> no? Nothing. A boy likes candy. No. Hold on. Peppermint? And oh god, god, no! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he'll, no. He'll, he'll give you a piece of peppermint. Mmm. <laughs> Just one gulp. Does like he have to roll a <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do I have to? Um, uh, let me just, uh... Decide. <laughs> um, no, this is gonna be worse than your brownie! No, 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 nothing happened. Okay, thank God. <laughs> Yet. What, what brownie? It's extended release. <laughs> mm. Well, I feel um. comfortable leaving him to this task. Um, yeah, okay. So you go up to the town master and sealed her and uh, Sister Grail. Um, town master looks at you and says, Ugh. It's been a long night. I, I have something that might cheer you up, some information. Uh, after all of this, uh, I think I have an idea on how to get the town a little bit back up on its feet. Um, and I'm going to sort of lean in and be like, 
we found the location of the Lost Mines. Uh, the Lost Mines! You'll say mm-hmm. aloud so everyone immediately next to you can hear. <laughs> uh, and we weren't we were gonna go probably tackle all the baddies inside and maybe that could help open it up for you know making this trading town great again and make <laughs> Fandolin great again <laughs> yeah I know <laughs> we're gonna make Fandolin great again that would be <laughs> essential at this point I- I've spoken with uh the owner of the Lion Shield caster and Barthen of Barthen's provisions and they've They've lost most of their coin. It's uh, this town is not long for this world. If if we don't have something coming in soon, if you could get the mines running, this could save us all. Uh, I will hand him the map, uh, and I will say, I I know where it is now. But we're gonna we're going to clear it out and then inform you of what state of affairs it is in. We'll we'll be back. Um. In the meantime, I hope you all stay safe. I mean, I'm I'm hopeful they won't, you know, make any secondary attacks while we're gone. Oh. <laughs> I butt in and I say, tell the owner of the coster to check his counter for some gold. And I like motion to my bow, <laughs> like slid <laughs> over my shoulder. <laughs> Smart. Uh, yes, I'll make sure to tell him. Hmm. Um. Yes, thank you so much. It it would be... muted. I am not muted. <laughs> yes, I was to pretending to be. No, I was just saying we're going to see the that guy is going to go into the shop himself and grab the gold later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, how did our carriage and horses fare? We we probably would have hidden them, you know, a little off the road, right? I mean, do you think you really would have? Yeah. You really yeah, we did. So. Yeah, okay. we, had, we had to walk a few a good distance to get into there because we wanted to keep our horses safe. <laughs> okay, sure. Yeah. Um, in that case, I'll say your uh, your carriage is fine. You you hit it well enough. Okay. Uh, so I figured that was you know probably be helpful in not walking. Um. All right. Uh. So that matter of affairs is settled. Do you guys want to head to the mines right now? Right, I think. Of course. Mm. What if we find a magic bow? <laughs> you seem to have a problem with those. <laughs> yes. I love yes. It. Perhaps you should find a different field of speciality. <laughs> the first time it wasn't my fault. I mean, no. I could teach you how to shoot this, and he like hefts the giant heavy crossbow that he has. And, like hands to her hands. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. I'm fine. Okay. Kitty, 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 cat. Sorry. We go to the mine. Let's yeah. go wherever this is. Okay. Um. <laughs> to the thing. To the thing. Hi. Also, is my volume okay now? Yes. That's wonderful. Well done. I did it myself, guys. I'm so proud. What? I'm so glad. Okay, so, um... You guys are currently in Fandolin, um, and the uh, the cave where the mine is is Wave Echo Cave right here on the map. Um, so there are no like distinct roads on the way there. Um, you will be traveling with uh, with your horses and carriage over some pretty rough, uh, rocky terrains. Um, it's uh, it's mostly barren, uh, like desert rocks and such uh not a whole lot of trees out in this area um and it'll take you uh, about a, a day or two to reach there by carriage i'm fine um, with this i mean <laughs> that's, okay. that's okay what if we have a bear also pulling the cart wow yeah, i could i could turn into a war horse and get us going pretty quickly i'm pretty <laughs> Actually, strong i can't do that for very long uh, <laughs> How long can you be that for? Five hours is like the longest. I could. That's a long time when you're. Yeah, I'll say. I mean, you can. Can you immediately turn yourself back into the warhouse horse after those five hours? Or yeah, no, no. It's it's one. I I basically I can like I can get five hours total with both shape shifts. Yeah. Okay. You can you can shave some time off of your journey by doing that if you really want. (laughs) No, I'm I'm not gonna run. I'm not gonna (laughs) run as a horse. (laughs) 
I mean, I very well could, but... Uh... Okay. Um, I'll say uh, you are able to... You, you come to the specified location on the map, um, and when you're there, you see... Uh, uh, you see some markings on the ground that indicate that people have been here uh, at least somewhat recently. Um, you s- y- yes? I'm gonna cast Pass Without a Trace, just... Oh! Okay. Oh. Just to keep... Yeah, what's... Uh, what Whoever offered... Tri- it gets, gives everyone plus 10 on plus the 10 stealth. Plus 10 bonus roll. on dexterity, stealth checks, and can't be tracked except by magical means. Okay. Uh, my heavy That's armor makes me bad. Last up to an hour. So, how many people can you do that with? Everyone. So your, everyone. All of your friends. Yeah. Well, um, also, you have you have to also cast on the I horses, choose. is what I'm saying. Each creature I choose, it says. Maybe okay. you should, actually, maybe you should hold off on that until we get to the mine itself. I wanted, to do it once, I wanted to do it once leaving town, so they couldn't find our tracks immediately, and then once when we get there. And this oh. is also going to be a long time traveling. We'll probably yeah, so, sleep another night before we yeah. actually go into yeah, the mine. Yeah, I just want to cover our tracks out of town, so... Um, sure. Sure. Yeah. You can do that, I'll say. All right. Yeah. Um, Speedy, all godlike, I will allow this. Yeah, your your horses move silently along the ground as you travel away from Fandolin, and again as you approach uh, where the map indicated that Wave Echo Cave is supposed to be. Um, you see in front of you a, a mountain, um, and along the mountain there's a bit of a trail going up to it. It's... Uh, more just along the side, there's a, a path that appears like some of it was almost carved out. Um, it's only about one person wide. Uh, you, you couldn't really bring the horses up here. Um, but it, it appears to be just sort of a rocky, uh, mostly natural path leading up to what you can kind of see uh, is the corner of what might be a cave. <laughs> We'll move the horses uh, somewhere, like, not near the entrance, of course. And a little bit out of view if there's any areas. But Lovely. Okay. Uh, just, or it's yeah. idle, at least. Hmm. By the way, I, I've all, I'll always have been steering the cart. I call dibs. <laughs> <laughs> sure. I love me horses. Uh, shotgun! Oh, I will be I will be in the cart with the cool kids drinking my fancy ale <laughs> with the cool kids. I'm with this. <laughs> so you're um you're dropping off the the cart. Um, mm-hmm. Okay. And uh, let's all make an approach. I say. I'll take point. I'll be with him up front. I'll be second to last. In the back. <laughs> yeah, I'll be in the back. Okay. Um, got my crossbow out. It's big. Yes, they. <laughs> and clunky. I got a wood stick. I'm gonna be right behind I have my bow out. Four. It's just like you know, I'm just holding it. I got right. nothing out. Everything is stowed. <laughs> I have a wood stick. Ooh. Okay. So, um, you walk up. Um, you walk up this trail and you see a very narrow entrance to a, a cave. It looks like there's been a great deal of rocks moved out of this area. Um, some of some of the walls have been like recently chiseled, and there's rubble really close to the entrance. Um, and uh, as you uh, as you walk in, you see this long tunnel going through um, and leading into the cave. Um, once within, uh, you see a large cavern supported by a natural pillar of rock, um, and there's three stalagmites all around it, just spiring up, um, which is what those are on the map. Ah. Uh-huh. Um, in the western part of the cave, behind the column of the rock, uh, you walk around and you see three bedrolls there. Um, and with the bedrolls, there's a, a good amount of supplies, um, just like it looks like sacks of food, barrels of uh, of ale, possibly um, meats, lanterns, and pickaxes. I'm looking. Um, can I look for anything special? 
Yeah, me well, too. I want to roll perception. Before you, before you do that, also pretty obvious among this, um, lying near one of the bedrolls is a body of a dwarf miner. And he's been dead for a good deal now. Weeks, probably. Oh my. Oh. This is not a good sign. Gonna see if it's anyone we know. <laughs> um. I mean, yeah, you can roll me insight. I, I guess. Uh, here we go. Twenty-three. Yeah. Um, you you can recognize uh, from the features of this dwarf. Uh, you remember Gundren, uh, the dwarf who gave you the quest, was mining out this mine with his two brothers. Um, oh. Barden and Nundren. Um, so you are fairly certain this is one of those. He has similar features to Gundren. Well, one brother left, I guess. Do we know where the last brother is? Ooh. Was he part of the Barthens provisions? Or I can't remember. Um, um, Gundren, uh, Gundren, I believe, told you that uh, both of his brothers had were staying with the mine. Oh. Okay, so. Go for a dwarf, I guess. Um, anything special around? Um, you can think fancy. Seven. Yeah, I wanna. I wanna see if there's. Um, I don't know health potions. <laughs> oh, that's just, fantastic you know. idea. Good yeah. idea. Looking Sports around, um, looking around, you see a, a good deal of supplies of uh, of food and pickaxes and things like that, but nothing particularly valuable. You you can find on Gundren's body he had with him uh, an axe. Um, and also a smaller hand axe, um, but that's about it. Is there any cheese? <laughs> there is cheese. You can find cheese. <laughs> I would. I, I would like to go up to to Pete, and I'll ask. Uh, did you know this this dwarf? I I knew his brother. Um, he was the one who gave us the location of this place. Oh, that's lucky for you. Where's he at now? Dead. Oh. <laughs> He's got one more brother, and he may be farther down, so let's see if we can... Although, this one's been dead for a little bit, so... Well, I will... I will walk up to the corpse, and I don't know if this is a good idea. I I, I want to cast a spell. Speak, okay. Speak with uh, dead? What kind of oh, here we go. Speak with speak dead? With dead. Here we go. Right. He's doing it. Yep, yep. Um... But does this require any sort of roll or anything? No. no. Um, uh, stupid things in the way. Uh, you grant the semblance of life and intelligence Got to it. a corpse of your choice within range, allowing it to answer the questions you pose. The corpse must still have a mouth and can't... It still has a mouth, right? Yes, he still has a mouth. And can't be undead. The spell fails if the corpse was, uh, was the target of the spell in the last ten days. Until the spell ends, you can ask the corpse up to five questions. The corpse knows only what it knew in life, including the languages it knew. Answers are usually brief, cryptic, or repetitive, and the corpse is under no compulsion to offer a truthful answer if you're hostile to it, or if it recognizes you as an enemy. The spell doesn't return to the creature's soul. Take it You got it. Okay, so um, the, uh, the corpse of this dwarf uh, just sort of sits up and looks around at <gasps> you. What are you doing here? Oh. The, the, I'm sorry to tell you, to friend. Huh? I'm sorry to tell you, friend, but uh, you're dead. Don't check. Uh. Oh. You didn't ready. ask a question. I'm not dead. I'm right here. Oh, There's my no mistake. It was a smell. I apologize. It must be uh, my companion questions. smells so terrible. Qu- questions. <clears throat> I questions? think the only thing that moves is its mouth. Uh, no. Is that what uh, it says? Yeah. Okay, fine. He doesn't sit up, and but he still says all <laughs> these things. Did you guys want to ask anything? Since he's awake now? Uh, what What happened? What do you last remember? Oh, I was... I've been down in this mine. Uh, well, why should I answer you anyways? He you has know, to. He doesn't, he doesn't have to. Oh, he doesn't? No. Poop sauce! <laughs> Well, we're, uh, just... we're friends of your brother. We 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 know the mine lo- location because he he told us. We're here. I to think it help. does have to answer. I just 
thing it doesn't have to no, answer he, truthfully. No. Brother, no, he doesn't have to answer. He can refuse. He can refuse. Oh, jeez. Uh, Gundren. Yeah. Okay. Gundren. Gundren. Yes, he went off uh, days ago, uh, seeking people to bring supplies. What uh, did? Uh, why is he not here with you? Uh, unfortunately, he he passed. Um, he was killed. He was captured and killed by the group of goblins. It doesn't. Somebody knew you had the map and and tried to get it, get it from him beforehand. Well, I'm sorry to tell you this. That doesn't make any sense. He just left a few days ago. Uh. Hey, hey, Hedrick, do you want to handle this one? <laughs> I don't know anything about the mines, like, out of character. What can I... you tell us about what you've discovered so far about the mines? Uh, well, we haven't gotten too far. There's a rock fall ahead that's been blocking us. Uh, hold on, let me see. Check my notes real quick. I don't think this uh, this wasn't planning for this, so <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. That's fine. Um, <clears throat> yes, uh, we've cleared off uh, some some bits of it, but we haven't been able to make it very far. There's there's some dangerous things uh, that lie within been waiting for Gundren to get back before we got any further. Gundren's the one we just told him was dead, right? Yeah. And he had another one that he just we don't know where he is. Do you do you know where your brother is? Or That's what I was going to ask. Where, where, the other brother. The other brother. This is probably like the third question by the way. You, That's the third five. question. Yeah. I'm keeping keeping track. Nundro, uh, he, he's right here with me. <laughs> uh he's, uh... he's Thanks for your help! Um... We've been mining out this area for days. It should be right here. Where'd you, where did he head off further into the mines? When you, you last saw him? No, we've just been... here. We got one mines, more. Waiting for Gundren. We got one more. That was a question that was for. Yeah, this is the last one. We need to, we need to know what attacked him. Yes, but he doesn't know. He doesn't even realize it. Is there anything interesting about the mines that you could tell us in, about advance? Because we're going to be scouting in there. Or any creatures that he met. Any, any creatures. Any, any, you know, murdery, murder things. Or murdery things? <laughs> <laughs> murder things. Are there any dangers you know of in these mines? And if you say rock slides, I swear to God. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I... we didn't go much farther than this room. Uh... but there was... uh... something... we saw some fungus of some kind. It wasn't, uh... not something you want to be messing with. I see. Well, thank you very much. You look kind of tired. Perhaps, uh... perhaps you should rest a bit. Yes, and I'll release I'll the spell. Go back to sleep now. <laughs> oh boy! Oh, that was. Uh, <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> that was something I wasn't expecting to see today. I've always wanted to use that spell. <laughs> okay, are and, there any. And like... Good job, brilliant. Good job on you. Um, yeah, um... Are there any rope or mining tools around? Yeah, can I do a perception around the room? Yeah, there's plenty of mining tools around. You don't have to look for them. Um, if you walk around a little bit, you'll see this area right over here. Mm. Um, this is basically... Uh, that's like about as far as, uh, as they got, as far as you can tell. Um, it looks like there's still a bit of rubble piled up on either side of those. Um, mm. Hold on. So, um, these, it looks like there's two exits to this room, one on either side of it. Um, both of them kind of covered with, uh, with rocks. Um, 
And this is uh, this is also a pit right in front of here. Oh. Yeah. So it's about it's about ten feet down. It's not too far, but. Um, what I think I want to do is I want to get some rope, mm -hmm. and Kirk is going to tie it to this stalagmite right here, mm -hmm. and he's going to leap across. Oh, Kirk! Oh, across? <laughs> how yeah. how much of a leap is it? Oh, it's not. Well, it's this is a pit. Um, it's not like really going across. Like the pit, the far it's end of the just, pit is the wall. It's a drop. So it's oh. a drop. Are these like the, little entrances on either side? Yeah, the entrances okay. on either side are at pit level. Yeah, what I was going to do is just go ahead and like, like just get, as a precaution, just get some rope across here so like everybody else can get across just fine. Um, even though it's it's just so, like it's not a big so drop. Speedy, we it? just need to go down, is what you're saying. Speedy. Yeah, you pretty much just need to go down. Um, well, um, I have a general sort of plan of attack. Um, I can oh. summon a bunch of little creatures to sort of scout ahead for us, and they'll 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 pull anything that's really mean and vicious, and uh, they'll help us fight them, or get eaten. Well, they're 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 face spirits. They'll be they'll be okay. Um, oh, I was hoping to feed animals. whatever creatures instead of us. Your magical spirits. Uh, we Either can, way, we can we can use them to sort of check for any dangers. Um, and even help us fight. Well, that's the plan, at least. <coughs> what do you do? You like this plan, or should or should we just proceed? I approve of the plan. I walk up to um, the drop and I just kind of kick a big rock down there. What happens? You kick a big rock down the the pit. Yeah, not like a big rock, but like you know, maybe like a, a golf ball sized rock. Roll me perception. I will roll you perception. Roll him perception. Uh, how, I'm good. I know I've got dark vision, but how dark is it in here? Um, it's a uh, it's dark. Um, uh, you can see there, uh, there are torches around that have gone out for have been out for a long time at this point. I'm gonna, I'm gonna presti the torches. Yeah. Lit. Sure. It's a fifteen out of six. One five. Yeah, you throw the rock down into the bottom of the pit. Um, kick it. Or you kick it, sure. You kick the rock down into the pit. Um, it draws its weapon. <laughs> I, 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 I <laughs> the rock kicks back. And, uh, you are dead. and a blue um, dragon appears. The rock, uh, the rock falls to the ground with a, a chunk, and uh, as far as you can tell, nothing happens. How long did it take for the rock to, to chunk? Um, about as long as you would expect it to crunk from like a, a somewhere between 10 20. Can we just like off. climb down? I jump okay. down. Okay. Yeah. Well, You're gonna we'll... jump down? I'm jumping it down. Said we uh, just jumped off a building yesterday. How many feet down is it? I'll, I'll climb down. Acrobatics. Um, I'd, I'd say based on. Uh... I'm just. what I'm gonna do what I originally wanted to do and just tie okay. a rope down. Tie a rope? Okay. On this. <laughs> On this stalagmite here, and I'm just gonna take the safety route and just par par parole down. I'll I'm gonna follow try to suit one up my backflip off the roof that I did the dead the night the two days before, and I'm gonna try it again. You mean when you right. botched it and landed on your ass? Acrobatics <laughs> again. <Nice>. Acrobatics. <laughs> I'll follow um, four behind four down the rope. Let's I'll help her it. secure her rope like a gentleman. You, you um, you oh, fall down. You. You fall down into the cavern, Lindsay or Caitlin, and uh, you stumble and roll onto the ground, um, taking. <laughs> you do the perfect superhero landing, but it's really hard on your knees. Two really hurts your back. Okay. Yeah, you, you scrape your knee. I'm like, oh, better than last time. <laughs> Man, you've been doing really poorly with all the, these, you know, bow shooting, Rolls. athletics. Rolls. Are Are you okay, Rolls. Caitlin? Everything Rolls. all right? Hanging in no. there. So many dragons. Yeah, Bad we'll, we'll kill them all. I have a little peach. Wait, no, I don't want to see any more dragons for the rest of my life. Never mind. <laughs> um, I should probably. Gotta kill them all. Gotta kill them all. Do okay. I? Okay, I'm gonna look and see if I can hear anything coming from either opening. Uh, yeah, sure. Only perception. Nineteen. Oh. Nice. Nineteen. She has okay. disadvantage, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, <laughs> she can see. She's an elf. I rolled five nat ones last week. Don't make me do this. Yeah. Oh. Um, That's okay. As you Careful. as you start to listen uh, along the entrances, you don't hear anything like moving per se, but you do hear um, you, you hear a slight wind coming from the uh, the east side. By the way, do you want to do something like this, where we'll put our characters on? Will that be helpful? Um, yeah, yeah, absolutely. That was actually I was about to do that. If you guys want to drag your, <laughs> you can just drag your own things on there. Ayami's back. Ayami. Like the actual Ayami. Hi. I am so oh. glad you're back. Wow. It's good to hear oh my you. god. Hello, friends. I was really worried. We were. Worried. I was. I was worried I would have to cast Speak with Dead on you. Thank God. Oh my god. No. <laughs> that is no. ish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ish. Oh. That's rough, Kim. That's rough. All right. I'm sorry. Um, there we go. We love you. And Kirk has been doing so much work for you. <laughs> I haven't rolled that one yet. Well, you That's did, good. technically. Well. Yeah. <laughs> it didn't count. We missed you, Ayami. Gotta see some. I am gonna peek into the east entrance. Go. You're gonna hobble your way over with your broken leg now? <laughs> I'm fine. It's, it's anything, it's like a sprained ankle. Uh, I'm just gonna give you this single lady's token to move around, Lisa. Oh, she's not here right now. Um, <laughs> she casts she invisibility. <laughs> Um, Single, you're back. <laughs> Dead. This is where you've been. Yeah, all this time. He's alive. I cast destroy undead. <laughs> I can hold on. Just let me find a, a photo. Uh, she's an elf. Uh, she's a half elf. Half elf. Okay. Baker's bard. I don't know any physical traits, but I can just. There's a baker image. with her trait yeah. like um, always. So you can see um, on either side also. Um, there's some rocks piled up at each each side of them. It, it's it looks like they were fairly close to just clearing these out entirely. Um, it would take you know maybe 30 minutes to clear out all of the rocks from either side. Um, but on the right side, you can see through the cracks of the rocks um, a, a, like a slight greenish glow. Also, um, I don't. <laughs> Intriguing. On the right side? On the right side. Alright. I'll start I helping out. Put my bow uh, away, I take out my great axe, and I'm just gonna start swinging. That's not how you use. Um. I don't care, it's the biggest, heaviest thing I've got. I'm using This it. is why your bows keep breaking. Um. <sighs> I took the great axe off a dead guy, it's fine. I, I don't know what your character looks like, so I, I gave you a little token. You're like the gray-haired woman on the screen. I don't know. Yeah, you can move It's silver. Around. She dies it. Silver, yeah. <laughs> she is a young lady. Is Thaddeus here, or did he stay back at a... Thaddeus is not here. Thaddeus, um... He's Thaddeus playing Thaddeus, with little boys, apparently. <laughs> Thaddeus, uh, I'll say, after talking with that boy for a while, um, and learning from other people in town that his, uh, his family is... Uh, has died. Um, <clears throat> has he's promised to take care of the boy and deliver him to uh, his remaining family in Leilan. I saw you. I'm, I'm gonna see that. I have blood. to do this. I'm sorry. You do the best you can. He says. Okay. Days ago. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> he I reminds me of. Break down someone. the wall. I want to um, find out what's glowing. I'll, I'll help her move. I mean, with, you know, five of us here, if everyone's helping. Yeah, we're all just going to pile up. Uh, <laughs> is there money the equipment down there? Uh, no, there's there's nothing really down there. There's uh, rocks. See, you see, like, a stray pickaxe down there. I mean, yeah, you said there was I stuff up here. Yeah, I'll grab a pickaxe here. and try to and help. Yeah, yeah. There's a baseball-sized rock down there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys are able to, in, like... Not very much time to be able to clear out the remaining rock from there. Um, so you're all gonna go for the right side then? Yeah. Sure. That's where I'm going at least, so if they wanna follow suit, they can. <laughs> but I wanna know what's glowing. 
I'm, I'm following. I'm trying to get to the front so I can take. Nah, I'm you know, in the front. Here, do you do you guys want yeah, me to summon all those animals to take point? You know. <laughs> It'll certainly surprise them. <laughs> I, I don't not? think we're going to be making any surprises with the noise that we're making now. I, I said think I'll just. I think I'll just I'll I'll cover the rear while you guys cover the front. I guess. Yeah. Right. Kirk is just like taking things as they are. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, Speedy. I'm going to try and conjure eight wolves. So look at the thing I messaged you and go from CR one fourth and pick one of those. You're trying to summon eight wolves. Yeah, I can take eight CR one fourth <laughs> or uh, like one CR two or two CR one, and like it's it depends on the CR. Speedy That's wasn't so ready cool. for this, guys. Do you need yeah. to, are you supposed to roll anything for that? No, I just summon them. Like it's you can, magic. You, you get to choose uh, what the, what appears. But I'm gonna try and make wolves. Okay. <laughs> just a bunch of puppies appear and get um, eaten. And it's hedgehogs. one of those things that I sent Battle you from hedgehogs. the one fourth column. Just a bunch yeah. of platypus, platypuses. Okay. Okay. And it's, it's eight of them, no matter what. <laughs> yeah, it's eight of them, no matter what. <laughs> okay. Um, you eight different things appear. <laughs> <laughs> you cast this spell and. Um, from from like around the corner in this uh, in this cave, you start to hear a little. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> and um, eight giant centipedes. <laughs> come Perfect. Crawling along the walls towards these, you. These these are our new buds. I <laughs> draw my sword. No no no! no they're they're our friends. I control them. Are, See, are you, you sure? They're yeah yeah here here you, you yeah dance all of you. And they have to they have to do any verbal command I say. <laughs> this seems really overpowered. It's a third level spell. They no, I mean... brilliant. Okay. Uh yeah, they don't really understand what dancing is, but No no like... they, they 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 understand what I say. Okay. Well they yeah, do. they can understand the word dance. Centipedes like... have never danced before. <laughs> so they're they're not dancing creatures. They're not they're not they're not they're not they're not giant centipedes, so they're they're face they're face spirits. Okay, so sure. They <laughs> they start to like get up on like their hind fifty legs um, <laughs> and just like just are like kind of waving around. To no music whatsoever. To no music. They're just like, doing this now. Like the like this like the the wind things at the car dealer. Like they're like there you go. See, we've got, we got, we got some giant bug. I, I pull my shield out now too because they're no, 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 no. They're just that's the that's the best they can do. Don't you know? I have insulted your dance move. Don't insult theirs. You know, it's it's their pride. Okay. Do they seem threatening to me, Speedy? Uh. Here, I will say one of you spin it. I'm going to tell them all to spin in a circle. Ish, Hadrick, you have just seen a bunch of centipedes. Of these, are, are they like, do they look like ethereal or something? No, they, they, they look just like them. They look just like regular giant centipedes. They've yep. come up along the walls and they've just started flailing wildly. I, I'll, I, told, I, I tell them all one. to spin around. I tell them all to spin around. It's I, I attack one of them. So, I have to. It's it's weird. Um, okay. I'm just watching. I'm just watching. <laughs> Roll me an attack. Yeah. No, 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 don't, don't attack right, them. Their, their AC they're, is 11. They're adorable! <laughs> hit. They oh take four, boy. one of them takes, hold on, let me, let me do, let me do this. This'll, this'll be good. I'm gonna drag eight little, these. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Dear God. Can't see. Oh, oh God. <laughs> they they look, they're, they're bears on the icon, but they're, they're giant centipedes and, in, in creatures also it looks like oh a giant centipede is not is cr1 so we're, you're gonna have to oh. make a new thing oh for well, some reason i included that in the cr1 fourth list i was very confused okay yeah, don't it's, it's fine um they're normal size centipedes uh, they could be like wolf si they could <laughs> no. No, no no wolf spiders giant wolf spiders sure they're thing. wolf spiders i'm definitely gonna attack a wolf spider are you uh yeah Wolf spiders, that's what they yeah, are. Giant wolf spiders have come up. That works. Um, I'm gonna say you guys have like just barely <laughs> entered this room right now, so these they're not like all the way over there, but uh well that's why I would have uh well <laughs> move my army. <laughs> <laughs> I would have told them all this in circles sometime. before. 
Uh, what was that? I'm sorry. A bit of a warning next time. Yeah. I I, I told everyone ahead of time. I didn't know yeah, what they were going to be. Yeah, but you said you're creepy. You said you're going to bring wolves. Well, I said I was going to try for wolves. <laughs> I'm going to say, oh, you boys, it's just a few spiders. What are you guys fussing about? Yeah. Wolves and wolf spiders are not the same, Pete. I, it was it was my best. Okay. Come on, boys. Keep they're still. I mean, aren't you glad they're against? They're not on. They're ag- They're on I, our side, though, right? Right, I just kind of like wipe the spider back, blood off my go. sword and put it away. The boys and I slap both of them across the face, like not like not lethal damage, not like to hurt them. Just like <laughs> get it together. <laughs> I take one shame damage. Yeah, yeah, both. Okay, they all have eleven health and, and I thirteen AC. <laughs> um. Right. Okay, what do we see? So you see a bunch of uh, you see eight <laughs> spiders coming towards you, um, wolf spiders. Dancing. I dance with them. Are they <laughs> dancing the tarantula? It's not a real dance. Uh-oh. Yes, it is. Uh-oh. Is it really? Yep. Yes, it is. Fine, they're doing uh, that as best they can. But they don't have tambourines. Um, they could just a little attach their pinchers to see. Alright, this will only last for an hour, so let's, let's, uh... Make a move. Yeah, on they go, on they go. Um, let's, uh, uh, let's have them take point. Where, which, impressive. which path do you want to take down the cave? I want to go, I just want to keep going straight. I'm gonna follow, I guess. I'll follow okay. Caitlyn anywhere. <laughs> Alright, we'll, we'll, we'll have the wolf spiders take point and start move, moving. Move, move, it, move forward. Move. <laughs> there we go. Here we go. I'll be behind four again. Okay, so yeah. you're, we you're go walking into here. this this room right here. Okay, yep. Um, wolf spider's taking point. Wolf spider's <laughs> taking point. <laughs> also, I don't see my token. Am I blind? Oh, you have to drag it. You on have to yourself. drag it. Yeah. From like the character list. What? Yeah, yeah I had well, I had one of the wolf spiders take the four damage, and I'm a little upset with you. <laughs> <laughs> he was he was just doing a little dance. Don't worry, he's a bud. I'm gonna tell him um, roll over. <laughs> Provincial life. I got that stuck in my head now. I'm sorry. Here, I can pull up okay. the actual spell. I got um, it. As you as you walk into this kind of central room here, it's you can see it's about thirty feet tall, um, and there are reliefs kind of along the walls uh, depicting ancient dwarvish texts um, and drawings and such. Um, there. Are, about half a dozen lanterns uh, made of brass along the ledges. Um, none of them lit, obviously. Um, but as you walk into this cave, um, the wolf spiders ahead of you, uh, you start to hear this noise coming from above. That's a. Oh, heads up. Uh, you look up and you see lying down from above. Don't say a dragon. <laughs> How did don't he get in here? Dragon. Two dragons. <laughs> don't say a dragon. It's like all cramped. Please don't say a dragon. <laughs> I'm he's like literally just stuck there in the stalactites. Hey guys! I think we can handle this one. I mean, he's he's really derpy looking. It's like it's like Pooh Bear in the in the hole. <laughs> oh god! No. Oops! I didn't mean to do that. Sorry. Hold on. Mm, 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 mm. There must be more than this provincial life. Mm, I can do this. Lovely. Move. As this book. is happening, I Sorry, go to the bathroom. Sturgis. But not in character. <laughs> oh, I was going to say. <laughs> All right, well, little Ten army stages, so clean, little. who are clinging to the ceiling like bats, start to fly down from above. Your, I'm your sorry, uh, spiders what, didn't like seem bats? to notice them. Sturges, fleshy. I mean, they can make a perception check. Uh, it's know. it's just passive perception against these things. Stealth, uh, their passive perception is 13. So yeah, no. I assumed one of you had a higher than a. a uh, mine is now. yeah, mine is crazy. Yes, mine might be because I'm a yeah. Yeah. yeah, so you you guys, uh, anyone with a passive perception over 14 heard Mine's these 17. things coming, heard these things flapping above you. Well, I, I was 17! Yeah, me too. I would have told the wolf spiders to watch out for from above, I guess. <laughs> I will pull out my sword and my shield because I, I passively saw them. 
and I will nudge. What's your passive? Sixteen. Nice. I will nudge any of my comrades who do not seem like they are noticing. So I don't know what our bard's passive perception is. Or that doesn't our that doesn't matter. All of you can basically assume. To I think I'm just that. under. I think I'm just Whatever under. No. That there are Sturges, um, and they're dropping from above. I need everyone to roll me some initiative. All right, so my, little, my little guys have their own initiative, and they all act on, a, on one turn. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this will be fun. This will be really something. Um, uh, initiative! Let me, let me just put on my character sheet uh, what they roll. 17, 18, 19 total. Uh, you, Pete, initiative... <laughs> I got a cleric's uh, initiative. 19! Oh, okay. It's your boy. <laughs> did we really go 8, 7, 6? We did. <laughs> 3, 2, 1! Uh, I can't get this as a character sheet. Hold on. Actually, I think I can. We pull up Beast Form. Uh, nope, not, no, no, not that. No no initiative. One fights like Gaston, does right. lights like Gaston in a wrestling match. No one fights like oh, Gaston. Five. <laughs> Their initiative is five. <laughs> okay. Uh, so wait, so we have eight, seven, six, five? <laughs> what? It'd be funny if it went like all the way down to one, with one being Kaylin. <laughs> <laughs> um, Ow, kitty, kitty, please. Lisa, what did you roll for? Uh... 17 plus two is 19. 19, alright. Hey! Who's got a kitty kitty? And she probably has a higher uh, dexterity, so she'd probably go before Pete does. Well, I rolled a 19. Oh, well, I think you get to choose. Well, yes. it usually goes I, like I rolled a higher a 17. Modifier. Right, it's the one I with roll, the higher I rolled dice, a 17. So. It's yeah, the one with the higher you're dice. You're going to be going first. Yeah, I'll go, gotcha. I'll go after you. Yeah. What? No. Uh, oh, she goes Flurry's first. going first. Yeah. Because you both got 19, but your modifier is higher than his. Do you want to add the uh, Sturge tokens on the board? You got that ready, Speedy? I want to add that kitty cat token on the board. Are they not? Can you not see this? Oh, we can't see them. It's probably on the wrong layer. You have no, to you can see them. Move. They're just tiny. Oh, yeah, they are those. Tiny. <laughs> That's what those are. You can't tell yeah. her claws are digging into my knee Final right now. Oh, I can uh, tell. They I have know. to be small in order, for you to, in order to fit 10 of them on the thing, so... <laughs> All right, let me just do something. No, <laughs> oh, such a cute kitty, kitty. How does that work? Good cat, cat cam. <laughs> How does the cat cam work? How no, does it stay strike. still? Oh, I, I have true strike, but I'm not really sure how that works. Uh, I you think use it, it and it's on it. your next turn, you get to hit it for advantage, I believe. But in the thing, it says first attack. But if it's not my first attack, like how do you know? No, no, no. First attack it. since you cast it. Okay. Yeah. So I don't know if it's your first attack or if it's like guiding bolt where it's just the next attack. I'll read it. Give me a second. What's your strike. Hmm. Oh my god, these things are a little broken. <laughs> Alright, so you cast it on one turn as an action. On your next turn, you get advantage on the attack roll. Right. Oh wait, never mind. Surges rolled an eight. There's eight, six, seven, five, three, oh, nine, nine. Eight, six, seven, five, three, oh, nine. I also think that you're missing Kaylin's. No, she's on there. What? Um, I don't see hers. No, she that's weird. Yeah, I'm. I have it open. I have it open in a GM window and a player window. Ah. Um. And in the GM window, it's there. In the player one, it's not. Weird. Uh, Kaylin, do you want to just hit roll me initiative again? I'll still give you the eight. Or you can give her whatever she rolls now. No. A one. But we're not. <laughs> okay. I'll give you the eight. You're welcome. <laughs> I've got this. And you have a plus four to your dexterity. Nice. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, Ayami, what do you need permission for? She wants to post a link. 
Yeah, obviously. Uh, I can't believe those are the Sturges. That's amazing. They're so cute. <laughs> Sturges are not cute. Super cute. Pete loves all nature animals. He thinks the small <laughs> spiders are cute. Animals. Yeah, okay. nature animal things. He's our little Hagrid. It would have been funny if you had summoned a bunch of Sturges. <laughs> I don't think I can. Oh. No, you can't. <laughs> I, well, I you could you could just say I summon Sturges for flavor and just give them the stats of something else. Yeah. If you want. Bat. Speedy, I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. Naomi has a question for you, actually. Uh, does she get... I know you said earlier that if you sub to Game Whisper or whatever, that you get to do the uh, manager disadvantage? Yeah. Or nat 20 or nat, nat 1? Do you, she wants to know if you get that monthly or just when you sign up. Uh, monthly, so she can. She actually has one she can use because uh, she hasn't done that yet. Well, there you go, I mean, Once you, you need some dice. You have that. Now, is it just that one advantage or one not one or one at twenty, or can she do like two inspirations? Uh, she could do two inspirations, I suppose. Or yeah, no. I'm just those curious. Are those are two options. It's like a five dollar so, value, and yeah. then she can do the remaining dollar for you to say that you love her face in the pale moonlight. Sure. I yeah. mean, I'll say that for free. No, no, I mean, like, you need to follow rules, man. If we don't have <laughs> rules, what do we have? <laughs> Alright, so, um, Flurry, what are you doing? <laughs> These stairs gonna... have just flown down from above. Oh my flappy, gosh. Flappy, 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 flappy. Um, I think I want to... Break free. I'm gonna cast True Strike. And... But that's one action, so I can't I can't hit one with a dagger, can I? Uh, uh no. No. Nope, it's on your next turn. So I'm you gonna get advantage on the roll. I'm gonna cast true strike on myself, and then I'm gonna um kind of back up to the wall. Or, or back up I'm gonna put my back to uh curb. No, no no, you don't cast true strike on yourself, you cast it on a creature that oh, you I'm choose. Gonna, oh alright, I'm gonna point at the closest Sturge. All right, that's cast that's one. true strike. Okay. And then I'm gonna and then I'm gonna put my back to Kurg. Well, you're Are you able to? It's pretty tight. You're back here already. So yeah. Well, then at I'm just gonna point. back up to the wall. Okay. Okay. No, no, she gets advantage on her next turn on the target. On the target. Okay. What? Okay. Do so you say anything there. like this one's mine or anything flavorful? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna squish it. I say that exactly. <laughs> All right, well, that, that, All right. yeah, that shopping photo there. Oh, these guys are really cute. I don't want to kill them, but I guess I will. All right, I'm gonna whack them. I'm gonna make one attack. Twenty-one with seven which damage. Seven Go, attack. buddy. The not uh, the, whatever. Which one did she point at? The one that's right next to me. She pointed the one that's right next to you. Yeah. Okay, then I'll move around it to this one, and I'll give it a little whack. Yeah, you uh, you give it a good old fashioned whack. Um, uh, you're uh, on the head. Yeah, it just you squish it basically. <laughs> you smash uh, it against the wall. Wow. And I'll make a second attack on uh, on this guy right here. Uh, Seventeen for eight damage. What do these things yeah, look like? They they look kind of like uh, like compare them to a Pokemon. About I would know. This big and fleshy mosquito like. Fleshy mosquito bat like things. So they're, they're like so Beedrill. They're like sorry. bat, they're, like they're bat Beedrills. Cute. Pete thinks they're really cute and he's going to say so. They're bat, be <laughs> bat Beedrills. Gotcha. You're yeah. going to say sorry to each Not one bat of Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, little Surge. Oh, I'm sorry, you too. Oh, it's just you, you're bugging us. <laughs> Is it like a Zubat? I'd say closer to a Zubat, probably. Ah! Okay. Those things you leech life the shit out of me. Yeah, all the you, time. You, you squish both of those. <laughs> Alright. Okay, that's uh, my turn. Kaylin, you're up. Okay, um, I didn't really say which weapon I was going to have out for <laughs> this battle, so I'm going to have my, my, my little magical longsword mm -hmm. given to me by Hadrick. And I'm going to do a little... I'm going to try! You know how bad I'm with the sword. Don't win that two one. Attacks. Slash, you two slash. attacks! Quadruple that one. Two ones. that one and that one. And pray for anything but that one. Oh, the net twenty doesn't count. No, she. I mean, I hit with a seventeen. So, 
Yeah, both of those, uh, both of those will hit, and you, you just slice straight through these things. I, I did 12 damage and then 18. I Absolutely. killed them and their ghost. That's two more gone. <laughs> Unmade Gaming, good. thank you for that host. Thank you, Unmade Gaming. I'll do the caster command if you'd uh, like. I, I might have added an extra wolf thing to the initiative. Uh, get rid of that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Boy. Um. So yeah, Caitlin, you slice straight through them. Uh, it is the Sturge's turn. No. There is a Sturge blocking. So no. You already took out uh, four of them. Yep. So there are six left. Okay, so so wait, did did anything. they take out the one that uh, True Strike was cast on? No. No. Okay. Oh, I would have moved over like here, I guess. Hello, Pablo. You're on top of one on one. Um. Yeah. One of them is going to go <laughs> for. There. The one that was had Coos True Strike cast on is going to go for Kurg with a 14 to hit. 14 does yeah. not hit. Oh, yeah. All right, and then another one's going for Hadrick with a 23. <laughs> does anyone want a cutting words that? I said to no. an empty chair. Uh, so nobody does. Say to the empty chair. <laughs> no. <laughs> so I'll take some damage. Yeah, um, the, How much sturge, damage may I take? the sturge attaches right to to you. Um, it it doesn't actually do any. Actually, it does four damage right now. Um, four piercing damage, um, and it it sticks its uh, its whatever it's called. It's proboscis inside of your shoulder. Okay. Mm. You know, this could be prevented if I had a bard friend. <laughs> Um, right. Next up, yeah. or actually, sorry, uh, more more Sturgis still. Um, there's two oh, over. There's th goddamn what? Zubats. Yeah, I'm there's um, here. there's I'm four here. more of them left. So there's one that's gonna attack Kalen. Mount Moon is the worst. None of them going after my army of wolf spiders. <laughs> um. Hmm. Connection to the server interrupted. I also have that. Problem. I also have that message. <laughs> Great. Roll twenty is broken. Um, I'll just <laughs> roll an actual die for it. I don't have that b broken for me. I can see everything fine. All right. So uh, one of them's gonna try and go at Kalen, but it misses. <laughs> oh, it's gone now. Um, and then <laughs> the other, however many there are, the other three of them are gonna go for the uh, the spiders. Woo! One will uh, one will miss. <laughs> Their armor is ace. There is thirteen. Okay, yeah. Um, one of them will will hit for. Uh, Which one? The one that Hedrick already slapped a little bit. I didn't slap anything. Um, well, you stabbed something for four. No, damage. I didn't. I didn't go yet. No, no, like ages no, ago. No, earlier. One of the spiders. When they you attacked one. Oh. One of my spiders. Yeah. Um. I'll say you probably that's you probably attacked doing. that one right there. This sturge was the one that's close. I can't see what you're pinging because the server is not working. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, it didn't, um, it didn't get that one. But, uh, it takes, uh, five piercing damage. The one that's closest to us? Not the one that's closest to us, the one to the right of it. Oh, okay, right in sure. Down. Perfect. Got it. I marked it down. Okay. I don't know if you'll see that, but... And I, then, I got uh, the... The one that he actually did hit before now gets hit. <laughs> um, for another five damage. To the same one that just took damage? Uh, not to the same one that just took damage, the same one that took damage from Hadrick. Oh, okay. So, there, he's he's looking rough with two health. My boy. There's way too many of these things. I know. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This, is, this seems very but, overpowered. But that it's one not, was his that favorite. Mm -hmm. That one was his favorite. <laughs> I don't pick favorites. They're all equally adorable. All right, Hadrick, it Wolf is now spiders. your turn. Uh -oh. This is a third level spell, Speedy. You know, the more we level up, the more we're gonna get these really cool, powerful things. I'm back. So, what's this thing doing to me, trying to tongue fuck my shoulder? Ew. Um, it's it's got its proboscis like stuck right in right in like your your arm right there. In my clavicle. Ugh. Yeah, right in my That's clavicle. where my tattoo's good. Um, it's like sucking your blood. Oh. 
Ah! So it's sucking, it's not injecting? Correct. Yeah, that's right. Um, hmm. I would like to drop my sh- my shield, yes. Um, and then, because this really hurts, I'm going to do something stupid and waste it. Um, oh, I'll use my Tail Divinity to add plus 10 to an attack to double hand. I'm going to attack two-handed Bastard Sword to like stab Why? this thing to get off of me. It hurts! Okay. okay. Uh, roll. So, that's, he gets plus 10 on his attack. Not, you know, you could have rolled before. Oh, wait, wait, you already rolled, I'm guessing? I haven't rolled. Okay. So, yeah, I guess I'll wait till after I see what That I might roll. help. Yeah. Uh, 14. I need some dice. Plus, plus whatever my... I think it's plus 5. No, it should be like I can't see my character sheet right now. Um, it's at least a nineteen to hit. Okay, yeah, that'll absolutely hit. All right, and then with two hands, it's a D twelve. You don't even need to roll, bro. Plus three. Don't roll. <laughs> Five. Yeah, that's enough. Um, you, you swing this. You swing your giant sword and absolutely mutilate this uh, this sturge. All right, so I do that, and then bonus action to uh, Shield of Faith. Uh, okay, sure. I see it like that. You love okay. that Shield of Faith. <laughs> yeah. It's time. Um, all right, next up, uh, this is your Beastie's turn, I guess. All your Seventeeds. Uh, oh, uh, no, wouldn't it be... I mean, oh, wait, has Kurt is gone? It, isn't it mine? Oh, yeah, Kurt sorry. goes. Uh, I have a five on there initially. Yes, and Kurt, they, I, and then they I all actually go. skipped you and went with Hadrick first, my bad. That's okay. Um, um, yeah, actually, yeah, also, Kurt. before I'm done done, can I pick my shield back up now? <laughs> um, I mean, you used your bonus action to... No, I'll say you can use your movement to pick it up, it's fine. Oh, yeah, I'm not going anywhere else, so I'll do that. So, 21 defense, guys. Woo. Lovely. Yeah. Roll 20 is so broken. Yeah. yeah this is Someone in chat told me, refresh. And I did. And I was just not, like, I, I had access to my sheet and everything. Knowing. You shouldn't have done yeah, that. Yeah, I've gone to new browsers, and it's still kind of. Yeah, I went to a new browser. And it if you want, I can I just still roll, I guess. Yeah. Theater of the Mind. Need... Come on, guys. Yeah, let's do it. So. I still need my stats. Is going yeah. to go, ew, gross. And he's going to get his uh, trident out. Oh, thank and, God. Uh, and, uh, you have a oh. nat 20 to use also if you want to, thanks to Iyami. Take out the mosquito. Yay. I'm going to say you have to say it beforehand if, uh, at this point. If you want to use it. Do I want to save it? How many of those can we save? You can, no, ha- you can like, save you as can many as, as, you as, as you want. want. And That's then you so can save them for like, oh, you have to make constitution saving throw now. Yeah. As I'll the say, dragon it, breathes it fucking gas in your face. as long as the episode does. <laughs> Wait, yeah, it goes away after it, the though. episode? I'm gonna go ahead and use it just so that I can I can have her be excited about uh uh Grandpa Kirk's amazing bug squishing abilities. <laughs> All of a sudden uh Kirk has become a wizard with an otherworldly patron. <laughs> <laughs> Look out! Oh hey, is it working? Ayami, I don't think it's working. You can be my um, my deity. Okay, so um I'm just gonna use two D eight, I guess. Yeah, go for it. Okay, I have to find another D8 because I want to oh. roll legit. While he looks, that means that Karashi San would roll become Karashi Sama. Well, I. Okay. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Dropping it everywhere. So Karashi-san? I can still roll uh, in roll 20. By the so way. that's a total of 14. 14? Oh, yeah. You absolutely kill this bug. Um, <laughs> or not bug. Rawr. Fleshy flying creature, whatever it may be. Ew, Zubat. Yeah, you I just like stick it. it through the trident, and I just start like slamming it on the ground, like ah. Yeah, I'll say the other sturges that are like in the distance can kind of see this, and are, are a little bit scared. <laughs> as much as sturges can be, as, as much as sturges can be scared, they are terrible. So is it is it my army's turn? <laughs> Come here. 
Um, yes, it's your army's turn. Now. All right. Well, uh, we'll but have, since we'll you didn't give them a command to attack, no, it's 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 on their turn. It says I don't have to do that on my turn. It says I do it on their turn. Okay. Come here, kitty cat. It's, yeah, meow. Um, is I can still roll on roll twenty? Is that like I don't know if you'll see it, but do you think that's bad or should I just go, I go for, for it? it? Okay. Uh, twenty to hit. Um, and they take okay. Uh, one d six plus one. It's a natural 20 and then a natural 20 for the 1d6 roll. Uh, so I got 8 damage. And then if they have to make a constitution save or take 6 poison damage with the, the DC of 11. I don't okay. worry about that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. The, so that's one spider bite. Your spider just bites this, uh, this one sturge. Um, I'll say this is the the, sturge, the one the spider that was already hurt. Um, Two of them are actually pretty low. Okay. Well, the one that was the most hurt... Um, I was attacked okay. by both Hadric and a, a Sturge. All right, um, just, spider- bites, just bites back at the, the one on it. Actually, right, spider- wait. I don't think the spider can reach back to get the one that's on top of it. So the spider next to it it'll, bites the spider. It'll, bites the one good. that's sticking it. Yeah. <laughs> it'll the brother out. <laughs> All right, so that's one spider. Now the next spider, it rolls a nat 20 for 8 damage. Okay, yeah. Uh, Your spiders the- are just eating these Sturges. <laughs> Uh, a Rolling 12? Up into a, web. a 12 for... Hit. Okay. Uh, so that's... Hold on. One, two, three, four. Uh, okay, let's see. So that's four. This, uh, hold on. One, two, three. Okay, so fourth spider uh, makes a 21 to hit for uh, seven damage. Uh, yeah, that'll that'll kill it. <laughs> Okay, so here's the fifth spider. What the <laughs> eight? <fudge? laughs> eight, I'm assuming, yeah. doesn't hit. Correct. The sixth spider, 17 for... That'll hit. Uh, four damage. That'll kill it. Okay. Uh, so that's uh, six spider for 14 for... Seven, or for, uh, have to, for two damage. A 14 to hit for 2 damage? Hit for 2 damage. Uh, that'll hit, but it's still just wriggling around. 7th <laughs> spider, 13 to hit for 4 damage. Oh, wait, for... Uh, that won't hit. Okay. Uh, was, is this the 8th spider or the 7th spider? I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Why did I do this? 12 to hit for 6 damage. 12 to hit for 6 damage, uh, we'll miss. Okay. So, they you kill like 4 of them that turn? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, that's that's the, that's their turn. Wow. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yeah, you really fucked up those surges. How many did you kill there? I like I, lost hold on. Like four. Uh, what's I mean? I think you, you killed could... three of them. Three, maybe. You know, it's almost kind one. of like when yeah, I three and injured one. That's right. You know, it's almost like when you play a one shot and a single character like one shots the boss. <laughs> <laughs> Does that sound familiar to anyone? No, what? Speedy. Never. I would never do that. Um, right, so I killed three and injured one, <laughs> I guess. Mm, Apple of India, no, it's tragic. Yeah, there's uh, there's one Sturge left right. and it is crippled. It's fine, <laughs> sadly. Um, I don't remember who was on the top of the round. Uh, it would be... Kaylin. Flurry. Flurry, and then Flurry. me. Oh yeah, it okay. would be Flurry, then Kaylin, I think. Yeah. Actually, then me. wait. Okay, yeah, Flurry, you have, there is one surge left, it is the and one you right have advantage you. on it. It is the... So I'm just gonna throw, throw my dagger at it. Uh, okay. I guess. Because I don't, I, if, and he's hurting, so I don't want to waste any spell slots on him. Yeah, go for it, roll. Roll d Just punch him. One d, oh, one d4, hold on, hold on. Slap. Wrong size of dice. Here we go. Here's my, here's my. That's a three, four. That's a five. Five to hit. Five to hit. That is you have advantage. Five. You do have advantage. Because you use true strike. Uh, five. That's seven to hit. Still <laughs> oh wow! All right. You yeah. throw your dagger, dagger, and it goes flying past the sturge and bounces useful, uselessly off a cave wall. Oh wait, attack bonus! Not, no, wait, not plus two. That was three plus five. That's eight, nine, ten. That's ten to hit. It still doesn't hit. That still doesn't hit. No. All right, Pete's no. gonna, Pete's gonna whack him. Eh. So yeah, it's Pete's turn. Uh, Fourteen to hit for eight damage. Uh, and then I'm gonna use my bonus action to inspire. No, zoom. Who would I you like that? to inspire? There's, 
You can. There is only one Sturge left at this point. Yeah, though. well, wait. So, yeah, 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 inspiration lasts for Spy- 10 minutes, though. Inspiration That's lasts for 10 minutes, so I'm going to inspire Kirk. <laughs> How do you inspire him? Let's see. <laughs> uh, yeah. You can do it! I love that. I That's know! Cool. I know! <laughs> But it's a, it's nice to be appreciated. By the way, I was just wagging. On my turn, I rolled a fourteen and then a twenty-six to hit for six damage on the twenty-six. Yeah, yes, you, he, I killed the bug. Killed I'm so bug. sorry. You were so cute. Oh, it's just <laughs> my heart. But you at see, least I got my little spider army. You squish him and you hear him let out a little <laughs> my heart. on your staff. <sighs> You have to, you have to scrape him off. To, oh, it's just, what a oh. world! What a world! <laughs> Here's spider, spider. I mean, scrape, scrape this off, please. Thanks. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So the sturges are all gone. Um, you get a, you get a good look at this room now with little sturge corpses littered around it. Um, I don't have do the map see? up right now, which is kind of annoying. But you can see there are. <laughs> Uh, four directions you can go from here. There's like up, yeah, four. up to the left, up to the right, um, directly straight to ahead. the right, and, and down. Back. Um, the the way that was straight forward to the right, um, that from there you can see like more of this faint green glow coming from its. I want right to follow the glow. <laughs> You're gonna follow the glow. I want to follow the glow. She's like I a will, child at a will, fucking I will direct, park. I will direct the spiders to follow the glow. <laughs> yeah. I will follow, follow the, the glow. Okay, spiders. Glow. You're following We're the Lindsay Patrick. The spiders. Come on. Oh, the Harry Potter references are strong. So right. So which way is you the glow this. off to the right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um. Let me see if I can up notes on here because without them I am useless. Oh no. <laughs> Roll 20 plus. Yeah, and who um um why you do okay I, I at least sort of remember this at least. Um as you walk into this room on the right it seems to open up into a wider cavern. Um there are stalagmites and stalactites all around, and you can see that the green glow is coming from this green moss that is covering the entire floor of it. It's sort of spread about. Um, and also in the room, it's filled with just lots and lots of various fungus, um, some some mushrooms, white caps. Uh, uh, you might recognize a few of the varieties in there. Hmm? Yes, five is here. <laughs> uh, uh, um, I remember. And you see also among them yeah. some giant mushrooms that kind of spire up about like eight feet tall. Ooh. I um, remember also when we glowing. brought the guy to life. He said to avoid, avoid the, the fungus. fungus. So I'm gonna be like, yeah, this room's not too interesting. Let's let's, let's go back. Let's turn around, I but, suppose. Uh, <laughs> uh, but K- Kaylin, can you maybe? Uh, Identify what this stuff is. I sure can try. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, let me just. Yeah, roll the uh, roll me nature. Fourteen. Fourteen. All right. So you recognize uh, you recognize these as you know various types of fungus. You can tell that among them there are some that are poisonous and some that are uh, some that are probably edible. Um, uh, the the green kind of mossy carpet like fungus that is coating most of the floor and giving off this glow, um, you don't entirely know what it is. You're pretty sure it's not something you can eat or would want to uh, be around for too long now. Yeah, I'm gonna tell the girl and be like, "This really isn't a good idea. We should probably just go back and try to find the weapons because I don't think any are gonna be in this room." <laughs> We can, we may, we can probably investigate that later. I mean, really Pete, if you want to send one of your wolf spiders in there, go right ahead. <sighs> I would not send them into dangerous territory. <laughs> I, they're so, well, I mean, they're gonna, they're gonna take all the damage from us, but well, I mean, just, I mean, I guess they're less vulnerable to poison. 
Well, it sounds as though these go for a long way. And we should have a better plan than just let's walk into this room. We should, like, set out a straight order of who's going first. Yeah, the spiders. Slowly, or are you going in screaming? Because we ran straight into those. I'm not sure what they were, but they were pretty nasty. I believe they're called Zubats. That's what the spiders are for. (laughs) They're supposed to get all the attention, and, you know, then we can, from the back line, just take out any threats. Well, yes, but... In case you didn't know, there was a dead dwarf up there, and we don't know what killed him. I think we're a little bit more potent than a dead dwarf. Or than a dwarf. Oh, I think roll 20 might be working. I I don't know about that. Try refreshing again, Speedy. uh, I'll ban you if this is a a joke. No, it's... He warned us about the fungus, so it may be the fungus that killed him. Go ahead. If he warned us about the fungus, it may be the fungus that killed him or made him sick or made him weak, so let's not... uh, we actually That's never did. Over here. Yeah. He didn't answer us because he didn't remember, and that might be because of uh, a little mushroom stew he might have ate. That's a valid point. We'll just we'll so, avoid the fungus for now. Let's just avoid it. Uh, <laughs> we need. We came to look for weapons. Avoid it and maybe avoid breathing it for too long. Yeah, let's get out of here. Yeah, let's speed out of here. Do you think uh, we should have uh, is four there anything spiders? Else I see in, is there anything else I can see? Oh, um, um, oh no, they're fair creatures. Never mind. Um, uh-oh. anything else I can see in this, uh, the roof this fungus? Room? No, you, you can see, um, uh, basically all you see is a, a wide variety of, of strange looking fungus. I have a question for any more dwarven DM. things on the walls, any more dwarven like uh, reliefs you said that were in the front? Um, not here. This appears to be like a much more natural looking cave. Um, whereas the walls for the other one were a bit more ornately carved. Alright. Speedy, can you reveal that area if you can? Or, uh, because we can see it now. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, hold on. Uh, roll 20 is only, a dick. like, half working. Okay. Um, I have a question By the question way, do you guys DM. think we should... Oh, sorry. It's okay, I like being interrupted. Um... Oh, question for the DM. Mm-hmm. Uh, I thought that we were planning on... Doing like, like, flavor a long rest prior to like actually going into the mines because I prepared certain spells that I thought would be useful for certain times and not for others, like create food and water. <laughs> okay, well you could have um, probably prepared that. Yeah, I expect so. I'll, I'll say you can. Oh, you made you made food for end. people at the uh, at the place and then. On the road, you uh, probably ch- switch spells. So are we going to say, yeah... At the say Sleeping that... Giant's Heaven. No, since then, since we left, because it was supposed to take a while to get to the mines. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, okay, we'll rest again when we get there. Um, you haven't rested so far. If you wanted to rest now, you could do that. I uh, mean, we had two days to travel. Yeah, well, that's fine, yeah. I'll say you, you could have you rested like right before you uh, went inside, I guess. Okay. By the way, um, um, do you guys think we should have like four spiders at the front and four spiders at the back? Uh, yeah. Let's just let them ride on us. Why not? <laughs> oh well, I mean, <laughs> if you want them to, I can make them. Hey, spiders! What? <laughs> oh wait, I, you were joking. Oh, I'm- I was. Yeah, you can. Mm. Oh, I see. see uh, I see messages. Like. I see lots of rolls. <sighs> It's working. Yeah, isn't isn't it great when Roll Twenty does the thing that it's supposed to do? It's like supposed to do, thing. yeah. What? You had one job, Roll Twenty. <laughs> uh, one goddamn job. We'll just. Uh, why don't we have the spider's head up the tunnel now? This direction. What do you Ooh, think? I agree. Slowly but now. Can just... they speak to you? Can they? Can they I, tell they... you what they find? No, not really. Unless. Mm. Unless somebody can speak with animals, that would be daft. That would <laughs> that would probably work. <laughs> that would definitely. I mean, but, you know, I, 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 I would love to, to do it, but does it say that I can understand them back? Yeah, it's like you have communication yeah, yeah. with animals. Uh, all right, so um, commune with beasts is what it should be called. Hello, hello, chaps. <laughs> you furry, fabulous things, you. Uh, can you go oh, up and spiders. tell us what you see? 
in the they're sending the spiders into the cavern. I will I will tell one will spider you, tell to go up ahead. Okay. Hey, Mister Mister, uh, I know you're looking a little injured. Can you just uh, run, run on ahead and and uh, come back and inform this one what you you saw. Um. Yeah. Um. Hold on. Let me look up. That's a good furry chap. These are wolf yeah. spiders, correct? Yep. Spider, sir, ma'am. So yeah, the um the wolf spider goes off. Says, spider. <laughs> Oh, sure. speaking to a spider, it's fantastic. <laughs> go, go, go. Say? I'm having a chat with a spider. <laughs> he loves me, right? He loves me. We're like best buds, right? I don't know I'm what he's just... saying, but... I'm sure he loves you. I'm sure it's a, a deep spider type of He doesn't really seem adoration. to have many emotions. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> he's mostly just doing spider things. Um... Yeah. Go on ahead, bud. You with not very much help. <laughs> Uh, hmm. Oh, right. uh, yeah, and he says he, l he loves you very much. Oh, oh. Is the spider oh. just in there like you, the fuggiest thing can I you said? Show me, uh, the character sheet for spider, real quick. Yeah, type in the information is giant wolf, and then it should pop up. I mean, if okay, you look in the PHP, there's right. literally giant yeah, it's a giant spider wolf. right I'm here. I'm sorry. Yeah, I was it's a giant wolf spider. Excuse me. Is a wolf spider different than giant spider? Yes, it's very. Oh. Yes. That's really? Silly. Okay. These things are not like nearly as big as giant spiders. They're still like the size of a, like a, a biggish dog, but they're not like you know. Oh God. Yeah. Um. I'll be I'll be playing with my little buds in the meantime. <laughs> Kitty cat, you're so. I would have told them to come back in two minutes. Okay. Uh. You said a special key carrier. Yeah? If they don't return, then we can just assume he died. <laughs> um, the uh, the spider scurries off across the 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 mossy floor. Um, and uh, he, do you, how far do you want him to go? Uh, just, just scout the room and then come back. All right. Um, yeah. He he looks around the room. Um. And as he as he does, you see like a little bit of uh, as he's walking through the. Where are you guys right now? Are you guys still back where you were standing? I'm in the middle of all my spiders, sort of watching them. I'm okay. in the middle of the opening. Okay. I'm I'm giving my spiders I'm little just pets. I'll stand over here. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah. As he walks across, or I guess uh, you're not really seeing anything that he's doing. It, so, past yeah, like this I. point. Actually, yeah. I, I can't. I don't have good vision. No, yeah, I wouldn't be able to see. He around. You hear like the little tick, 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 of him walking. Um, what do we hear? <laughs> oh, it's like a little uh, tie fighter. Yeah. Ding. Um, after a couple of minutes, he returns, and he reports back. Uh, tell, tell what you saw. Uh, moss, lots, lots of moss. Uh, lots moss. of moss. <laughs> Um, what else did you see? What else? Uh, they're just bats, mushrooms, uh, fungus. Oh, moss. um, you should you should know animals aren't really the most intelligent of creatures. Yeah, I, mean, I love them to no, death, no, but they're you, you know they're 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 just they're little dumb, right, they're little right. guys. Yeah. They're it's, a little it's, dumb. It's all right. You're doing great. You're doing great. Um, just from from a distance. Uh, any other any other guests up there? Any other creatures creatures up there? I figured they might have jumped them. If uh, he was wandering the room, so we should probably be no, clear. I, I'm, a, I'm asking the spider. Well, I mean, I was just giving you my opinion. <laughs> uh, the spider says, "No, just mushrooms, mushrooms, lots mushrooms." Okay. Thank you, bud. All right. Should we keep going that way? I'm or gonna, I'm gonna pull a little fly from my afro and hand it to him. <laughs> That's so. Mm. My cat's curled around my I'm, feet, hugging my feet. That's. I'm cool. I'm not the cleanest person. <laughs> no, don't lick my. Oh. Uh, right then. So, uh, pick a direction. You want to head upwards, spider army? Move out. <laughs> Roll out! Roll out! Oh, uh, uh, hang on. Uh, oh, wait, stop. It was, it was just moss. 
Just moss and mushrooms, he said. Yeah, but he said. It yeah, said. They yes. said. But did you just assume that spider's gender? <laughs> uh, they said, yeah. yeah. Do spiders have uh, genders? Uh, yeah, the they spider do. only reports back moss and fungus. Uh, I think we should avoid that area. It could be poisonous we air. Well, we right. can, you know, once we've cleared out the mine, we can probably reinvestigate that area. But for now, we'll we'll we'll, we'll take another direction. So we're gonna, I'm gonna make my smart army move upwards. <laughs> that was up. No, that was over here. This way. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was over here. Let's go, buds. We've now we're going up here. By the way, what's the light situation right now? Um. Oh. I'm sure. Oh. I'm sure one of us got a torch out. Someone was My hands are on fire. Um, Your hands are on fire. I, yes. I did also say oh, that there mind. are, um, there are like these fire. these braziers kind of around the uh, or like lanterns within little like carvings inside of the wall that aren't lit, but you could if you have a torch just go light them if you want. Press the oh, there's so out. many of these things to light individually. My hands are currently on fire, so. <laughs> <laughs> I said to the bard. No, just actually, <laughs> I I cast produce flame on my hands. They're yeah, like, I, situation handled. <laughs> yeah, okay. So there's light in this room now. Um, do spiders have dark vision, by the way? They probably do. I'd be surprised if they didn't. Uh, yeah, probably. Um, I don't. They have blind sight, so they don't even have, like anything that's ten feet in front of them. Even if it's invisible, if they can, they can sense like around them. Awesome. And then sixty feet in front of them, they have dark vision. Yes. Yeah. So at least a giant spider has blind sight ten, dark vision sixty, and passive ten. Okay. Um. We'll I'll have two wolf spiders take up the back, also. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah. Um. I'm just gonna. Reveal this much of the area to you. Dun dun dun. Ooh, that's a door. Um, and dun, like dun, looking dun, down dun. here with the the lights on, you can see like that much. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, so <laughs> should I just pick a direction? Yes. Should be. They really right is always, always right. Up or down? Up or down? I think we, we still have this over up. here. I say we keep moving up and maybe investigate, you know. Alright, a Kurg will go up here. Oh. Alright, okay. I'll, I'll command giant army. <laughs> Roll out to the, the right. Yeah, in the, I'm, with, I'm with And tell her. us what, and, and tell me what you see. <laughs> if too. you please. Tell, is that tell a door me. right in front of, is that, is that a door right there? Uh, yeah, that is a door right in front of you. I want to open it. Oh, wait. You, mm. <laughs> <laughs> Have Fuck some spiders, spiders on the wall. Have them Fuck on the wall. spiders. Oh, okay, well, you know. Yeah. Um, you you walked into this area. You see, it's it's all like a series of connected hallways. It looks like that are pretty like finely carved, um, about ten foot tall ceilings, um, and the door that you see is a, a very large stone double door right in front of you. Um, but uh, you can pretty easily push it open because it, it seems it was fairly well made. Uh -huh. um, you you're gonna open this door. Mm-hmm. With my right. bow out instead of my sword. With your bow out, okay. Mm -hmm. Um, you open the door. <laughs> no one inside, check out traps. <laughs> inside, you, you can see lining lining the walls, there's uh, beds that look very old and I worn. I like beds. Um, in... Uh, there, there's an iron brazier full of very old-looking coals in the center. Uh, but more noticeable um, in the room is the bones scattered about of what appear to be dwarves all around, and a few ghouls gnawing at them, snapping the bones open, appearing to try and suck out any marrow within. I have a question. Yes. Are ghouls undead like? Uh, yes. Are they very powerful? You'll have to find out. <laughs> <laughs> Mind frame thing, but I follow. Um, can I, like, wisdom it or something? Like. You can, uh, arcana it. Arcana it? It doesn't matter. You've already used your. Oh, you didn't, I guess. I didn't. So I have a thing if I want to use it. Also, are you even looking in there? I mean, I guess. Uh, yeah, I would have moved up. 
to the doorway at least. Uh, it's a minus three for our comedy. I am gonna take my bow. I can't like. I can't like. I, can't, like, I want inside everyone, it. Everyone's gonna roll initiative. Yeah. The second you open up this door, the Battle. the ghouls seeing uh seeing some fresh flesh oh, yeah, just fine. immediately uh turn and leap forwards towards you. Nat twenty. You got a nat one. I got a nat twenty. I got a one nat a three on his arcana. I got up to twenty. I didn't get a nat one. But you got a one. It's an unnatural one on it's Arcana. A four. Uh working on it. Giant Wolf Spider. You have an initiative of the roll. Five. Five. Again, they love those, those fives. Oh, They're a little slow. Yeah. I believe in them though. <laughs> Dude, slow spiders are terrifying because like they're so fast that if it's moving slow, it's like I'm gonna get ya. <laughs> <laughs> they get they got forty feet of movement. That's more than, and they can climb forty feet. <laughs> Twelve plus two is fourteen initiative. Or you just have them all climb up and then drop onto the ghouls. Neat. <laughs> I'm gonna, I guess, since I'm going first, everyone rolled initiative? Mm-hmm. Sure. Mm-hmm. Unless the zombies got higher. Uh, hold uh, on. I need to roll for them still. Hey, sir. Oi. I'm okay, sorry, I've. A 13, stop. so. Yeah, that... I'm sorry, I've sort of overwhelmed the session with spiders. <laughs> <laughs> it was with There's so many spiders. Just kill a few of them off, and it'll be better. <laughs> Um, Pete's gonna try and squeeze his way through. Ex- excuse me. Uh, <laughs> excuse me. Up, up to the doorway, and he's gonna take his already on fire hands and sort of just be like, and forgetting that it's our sort of only light source, throw the fireballs at the guy. <laughs> ah, I see. <laughs> All right. Uh, for an attack roll of sixteen, that does thirteen damage to one of them, the closest one, I guess. Yeah, that'll hit. Um. Yeah, this this ghoul it turns, looks at you and goes, <laughs> and as right as you throw a fireball right at its face, and uh, it kind of just sparks up in flames. Now it's uh, looks very angry and on fire. Angry <laughs> <laughs> and on fire. And then I'm gonna realize, oh, that was our light source. Uh, uh, and as a bonus action, can I like try and start lighting a torch? <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> Oh, I just want to frosty whatever sconces are on the walls. That's open. Uh, yeah. yeah, there's a there's a brazier right in the middle. It's got some coals in it, um, so you could probably light that up. Yeah. Right in the middle. All right, that was, that was my turn. All righty. Had Dick. No, Kirk. It's me! Kirk! Ah! Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and rip out my crossbow and I'm going to shoot it at one of the, the 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 one that is on fire. I'd rather that one just fall down. Oh, net 20. Net 20. Net it falls 20. down. <laughs> he doesn't even need a young. He's not 20. Roll yeah. the D10. Yeah, you, um... Oh, you, all right. you shoot straight through the, uh, the fire that was just lit by Flurry um, and your flaming arrow goes and hits it straight in the face. Yeah. Um... Its head lights on fire and it screams at you with an arrow in its mouth. Yeah. Um, yeah. It it looks like it's just like completely burning up, but it's still moving. Oh man, um, I believe Ayami has blessed me tonight. <laughs> there. That's, that's my turn. I'm just going to hold my ground, um, just in case they start coming, so I can take some hits for everybody. Mm-hmm. All right, cool. Next up, Kaylin. Okay, so I am gonna just start firing arrows at the ones that haven't been at the one that hasn't been hit yet. So both of the guys that are in the back there, I'm just gonna Lindsay, take a shot at each of them. I think you get an extra shot if there's the person you fire at first is within five feet of another person you want to fire at, like in a third shot, maybe a third shot. Yeah, so three shots doesn't seem overpowered at all. Oh, no, no. what horde breaker? Yeah, uh, I think. Yeah, Horde Breaker. Oh, I didn't take that one. I didn't take nope. it. You wrote it down on your character sheet. 
JK, I did take it. Never mind. <laughs> okay, so three. Are you, are you one, sure it's not as two, a bonus three. action? <laughs> Are you sure it's not a bonus action? Which is uh, it's 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 like it's like a feature. Yeah, it's a feature. Yeah, it's not a bonus action. Yeah, yeah. it's like okay. It's well, like, I rolled a seventeen, a twenty-five, well, and a twenty-five. I think extra attack is a bonus action. Right? Yeah, no, no, it's it's part of your action. Okay. Okay. So I yeah. rolled a seventeen, Three attacks. twenty-five for eight damage, seventeen damage, and twelve damage. Which ones are you hitting? The two in the back. Which... No, you don't get seventeen. You get thirteen. That's if you had an advantage on that it's roll. 13. So what? eight. 13. That would be if you roll the net. It's she. It's it's eight, thirteen, and twelve. Okay. Okay. Um. So which eight, one did you hit twice? Uh, the one in the front there. Okay. Of the two. Um. Yeah. So you knock your your arrows and just like fire off two quick shots at the uh, the one on the left. Both find their find their way through. One basically on each side, like right uh right under its chest. Um. It screams out. <laughs> Oh, it is mad at you. Um, okay. <laughs> the other, the other one, uh, you managed to to lodge a shot like deep in its belly Yay. as well. Cool. Hadrick. Well, I can't get through because everyone's in the doorway. <laughs> Hi, buddy. And I can't save my action to move. So, well, I can save my action, not my movement. So, I will save my action. For if I happen to get a clear line of uh, sight to just seek a flame, so that I can do something maybe. Okay, <laughs> sure. Uh, flurry. Uh, can I use my movement to get in the door just to get to get up so I can have line of sight to these guys? Wait, sorry, what did you say? Your how did you get a thirty-three? You don't have 30 Four, three. I do not. No, fourteen. 14, okay. It was a 12 plus 2, yeah. Yeah, no, that's, that's like, the order. Like, it's in the order in the, the turn order. But it says you had a 33, 33 initiative. <laughs> that's weird. Holy that's shit. Um, but yeah. I have the best! I'd like to, <laughs> I'd like to just get up, just get my movement just up to, to the first person in the door. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and, uh, how many of ghouls are in the room? Three. Three. And there are two close to each other, right? Yeah, two in the back. So I want to, on the two in the back, I want in like right in between the two of them, because they're within five feet of each other, right? Mm -hmm. I want to cast Cloud of Daggers Ooh. and just um, Salad Spinner those two with daggers. So they take 44 damage. Yes. Yes. Yes, they do. So... Here we go. Yeah, that's 44. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 damage. All right. Um, yeah, this this cloud of daggers goes from the sky and just sort of rains yeah. through them. I say, um, excuse, excuse me, excuse yeah. me, pardon me. No! <laughs> 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 um, the one on the left, uh, you it with already two arrows stuck inside of it, um, you manage to shoot your dagger straight through its belly, its eyes, its head. Um, and it just falls to the ground screaming. It would hit both of them. Yeah, I know. That, that's the only one that died, though. Oh, okay. Just... Um, the other one did still take a fair amount of damage from uh, mm -hmm. being hit with a lot of daggers. Understood. Um, it is turn. now the ghoul's turn. So... Oh, thank, thanks so much. Back up and give them room. <laughs> Um, no one's ever going to bring me down. I can't move these. Oh, I see why. I'm dumb. Why not? Love you. All right, so um, this one is now dead. Um, also, Kirk, don't forget you do have a what's your inspiration die? D8 at level a, five. Yeah, it should be. You have a, a D8 of inspiration. Oh, from, your, from the bard. Oh, darn. I should do that. Okay, so, um, this ghoul is going to run straight ahead, um... So, it gets within my feet? Because I get a reaction. I don't know how close you are, even. I'm, I'm you? like, I'm... Kaylin and I are both in the doorway. Yeah. 
Okay, fine. Yeah, you get a. You get I get a reaction to Wacky with a nat one. Nat one. Yeah. I hit the spider on the wall. Oh no. No. Uh, I'm saying in this narrow hallway, you were. Kalen was the one opening the door right in front oh, of you. Oh no. You swing at this uh, this creature oh. and you you whack Kalen instead. Now I do no. have a question. Mm -hmm. Oh, one that's damage. ten damage. I'll say it, it's it's yeah. all, half damage because uh, it wasn't what you were aiming for. It's oh, like, this is like so on the follow through that. of your swing. So I was, you know, we clumped up together. You... Yeah. So Kalen takes five damage from that. So <laughs> as it comes to the doorway, can I see it now? Uh, yes, you can see it. Sacred flame. Please make a DC fifteen dexterity saving throw. Technically, you don't want him to make the <laughs> It would be he for misses. Th that's three Radiant, so I don't know if he takes more from Radiant or not. I don't know if he has weakness um, or vulnerable or whatever it is. Nope. Okay. So, three Radiant. Yeah, I was so useful this round radiant. of combat, you guys. <laughs> Good <laughs> job, buddy. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, he. you see light pouring out of him. As he, uh, face still a little bit on fire, um, from Pete's attack, is going to, uh... Did you say Pete's attack? Yeah, yeah I, I threw fireballs at him. No, yeah. I, I thought you said, I thought I heard pizza. Oh. <laughs> pizza <laughs> attack! <laughs> pizza attack, <laughs> best I school ever! Pizza change, change the thing. <laughs> yeah, um, he's going to, uh, he's gonna try and grab at, uh, at Kaylin. Me? Oh. Bring it. You see this, uh, the school grab at you. Um, here it comes. Double check something on here. Grappling rules? No, not that. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Don't worry, the spider army's on the, on the case after this. Um, oh, wait, have you named your spiders? Yes. <laughs> All of them? Yeah, of course. I need to give different we got Peepaw, we have TC, we've got Jumbo, <laughs> we okay. got Fido. Um, this ghoul is going to try and bite at you, Lindsay. Mm -hmm. Oh god. Oh god. Uh, it's a nat one. <laughs> <laughs> yes. He instead kisses it's... the spider on the wall. <laughs> You're too close to Kaylin. Her luck yeah. is rubbing off on you. <laughs> he tries he tries to bite you, but you just sort of dodge out of the way a little bit and he falls face first onto the ground. Cool. It's like an aura of failure. <laughs> yeah. Fine by me. Um but this uh this other ghoul in the back is also going to rush at you. Um Good Kaylin. band. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Let me have it. Um, and he's going to try and he's just kind of step over his friend to just bite at you again with a 13 to hit? No. No? Okay. No, um, yeah. Sir. That is the ghoul's turn. So. Mm. Spider turn! <laughs> They're gonna, uh, here we go! They're going to climb all over the walls. Uh, so that they're not in the way. And on the ceiling too, you know? Just... Mm -hmm. And maybe move around to the side here. Uh, we'll just we'll just start with the first six attacks. <laughs> God damn it! Okay, oh so uh, I'm so Wait, sorry. Don't, don't I, ghouls have resistance to spider damage? Uh, fourteen for seven. Oh wait, hold on. Yeah, it they're hold immune on. to poison. Oh no, it's not poison. It's the it's, it's the action it's of the, the actual bite. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there's a poison effect afterwards, so yeah. we'll just ignore that. So fourteen to hit for seven damage on the first spider. I'll hit. Uh, it didn't roll the damage the second time. Hold on. Uh, 18 to hit for 7 damage. It'll also hit. Okay, uh, 6 to hit for 7 the, the That one, those two hits will uh, will take this ghoul out. Uh, I don't know which one you were attacking. These would have been on the left-hand side. The the left -hand side? Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. Yeah, that's enough to, uh, um, to finish that one off. Now the other... Uh, hold on. First, these two... Um, so one more bite attack, so 16 hit percent. Is the damage die broken? No. No, it's not. 16 just... hit for 7. <laughs> just keep rolling the max on the on the damage die. 
Yeah, that'll that'll also hit um, for seven. And then a twelve to hit for five. That'll miss. <laughs> okay, now we got two more spiders. Their movement's forty feet, and they can climb on walls. Uh, so they they can't reach the it. ceiling. Yeah. So they're gonna they're gonna sort of move up. How are all these spiders fitting in? They're, they're on the walls. They're climbing on the walls and on the ceiling. They oh god, it's terrifying. They have a climbing speed of forty. <laughs> This is terrifying. really. This seems really <laughs> overpowered. It's not. They're not that strong. You're the one who said that it's it was spiders. They're, they're giant wolf spiders. They're CR one fourth. So a fourth, a fourth of a level one character can take one of these out. So you're allowed to summon eight of them. I'll show you the spell if you want. I mean, uh, if you want to roll the spell just so I can see it to verify that this crazy thing is actually happening. <laughs> uh, just type in conjure animals in uh into the information thing. Or actually, can I do this? There you go. There's the information. Yeah. Eight pieces of challenge rating, one fourth or lower. It lasts for an hour. They take their own initiative and mm -hmm. uh, they obey any verbal command. So I can't turn it into an animal and command them. But um, you know, just wait that, till he casts yeah, the higher levels. For an hour. So. Uh, just yeah. wait till. We'll get you. Sure. That's amazing. That's a spell. That is a spell. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. Eight beasts of challenge rating one quarter. Okay. <laughs> um. Yeah. That's uh. So that's, that's all. That's their, their turn. Yep. Yeah. Okay. They've uh. They've finished off this one. Goal one more cool. On the left. <laughs> hey, now it's my turn. It is now well, your good turn. Good job, Spider Buddies. Oh boy, here we go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, Give him a wacky whack. I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move around to not like not out of his reach, but just to not be in the doorway with, with Lindsay. I'm so sorry not about that, and I'm just gonna whack him for 11 damage on the first hit. <laughs> yep, that'll. Uh, and that'll if that doesn't him really take good. him down, I'll uh, <laughs> take a second of swing anyway, because I don't like this guy. Yep. Good night, Ghoulie. With a night, with a second swing of your uh, your staff, he is dead. However you want. I'll I'll just I'll I'll, I'll whack him right in the leg and knock him on the ground and he'll bonk his head. <laughs> bonk. I'll sweep his legs out from under him. Sweep the leg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you sweep out the legs from under him. His legs are now gone. They splash across buddy. the room. <laughs> <laughs> you did so good, Spider Buddy. Mm, delicious. You are so cute. Yeah, that is that is the last of them. Well done. Um, as I walk by Pete on the way, and I'm gonna give like a look, like, dude, what the fuck? I I was I'm so sorry. It was a crowd <laughs> hallway. I was trying to keep him off of you. It's it's here. I, I'll, like, I don't, don't want to hear it. Here, I'll, I'll I'll return the favor. I'll cast cure wounds on you. I <laughs> take seven hit points. But Appreciate it. Here you go. I'll make up for that little bump. I'm sorry. <laughs> Are we good? I was, you know. We're I'm sorry. fine. I'd like to grab my holy symbol <laughs> and turn to Pete and say. If you keep this shit up, you're gonna anger the gods, Pete. It's it's her clumsiness. It just spreads to everyone around her. <laughs> oh, no, I meant the OP spiders upsetting oh. the D and D <laughs> god, <laughs> no, <it's> Speedy. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's that you know. Okay. Uh, I mean, it's a good plan, right? It is. I'm gonna look around the room and see if I can find anything of like. For someone who's been a druid for two days, this is a great plan. <laughs> <laughs> It was it was the whole time. I just didn't. I just you know. The turned to the spiders. Said, that was a really good job. Yeah, right. Yeah. It was I'm brilliant. Gonna, I'm, I'm gonna give them scratches. Here, jump up. Here, Fido. Do I see anything? Spider spider spider. Who's a good giant spider? Who is? Who's a good giant spider? He's a good giant spider. He's a good giant. Spider. You hear him. You hear him say, "If you can still talk to him, I'm a good giant spider. I am." <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> He's just like a happy little Tarantula dance. I know they're not wolves, but I mean, they're cool. Um, okay, yeah, so you've, uh, you've cleared not out this room of ghouls. Uh, I rolled an 18 for, for perception. Do I see any of usefulness in this room besides dead bodies? No, you, you look around and you see these the bones of, uh, of dead miners in here. Um, looks like they've been here a very, very long time. They were probably trapped in here when the, uh, the attack happened, um, and, uh, you can't really tell much more than that. Okay. What, what were the ghouls eating? Ghouls were, uh, eating their bones, and, like, snapping them open, sucking out the marrow. Ooh, marrow! Yeah. Delicious. Is there any left? Delicious? <laughs> there is still marrow left, yes. War cleric, not death cleric. <laughs> uh. 
Excuse, excuse could there me. maybe be um, plans, plans, map, journal? Yeah, let's search the room. Uh, yeah, Lindsay, Lindsay we already rolled an 18 I already did, yeah. Well, um, is, is she looking or searching? Because they're different. But they're the same. Flip the beds over. I am looking for things of use. Oh, so excuse. investigation. Here, here are spiders. Uh, could you just line the line the walls around this door? I'd, I'd re- thank you. Thank you <laughs> Oh my. You're the best. You're the best. Oh, so you know, Charlie, you are my favorite. <laughs> the other ones like they're going to they're going to go around. Charlie, He's jealous, yeah. He says you're his favorite, Charlie. They they, they so know what I'm job. saying. We did it. They, they, I just can't tell what they're saying. Oh. I am going to open the door to the left. Spiders. Uh, okay. One point. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, after, after you, after you. You've been doing a great job, Charlie. Um, I'll give him another fly for my afro. You see another, uh, looks like another hallway similar to the last. I go in. Do you want the spiders to, oh. Nope, fuck the spiders. I mean, it's so, it's a good plan. Fuck your spiders. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. No more spiders in the future. What What race is the body? Uh, dwarves? dwarves. Dwarves, yeah. yeah were- hey, just double checking. Oh well, that might be our, our last little brother. Well, looking around at the bones, uh, you're able to tell that they're pretty old. These, they've been skeletons for a long time. So original miners. Maybe. At the very least, probably not the brother. Right. Yeah. Just grandpa and grandma. And mm-hmm. Ooh, so many choices. <laughs> Other grandma. Mine is so big. Yeah, that is uh, that is what you can see from where you are, Caitlin. Oh. You don't boy. you don't have any light with you, or you have dark vision, don't you? I have dark vision. Okay, mm-hmm. then yeah, you can see about that much still. Okay. Well, I'll press do some like little little will o wispy little lights so people can see a little bit but not get Ooh, blinded. Very smart. So it's not su- it's not like a flashlight where you're gonna where you can't see behind you, but just a little glowy, like a candle candle light. I mean, that'd yeah. be the light cantrip, right? Well, that would be will o wisp. <laughs> no, yeah. just press a little. little... Uh, press the digitation could let you light a candle. It can't let you make flames that float in the air. I've, I've got torches. Light or if, dancing if you want light torches. Right. I'm gonna go to the right. But I can't do that over here. I know. I mean, you can light a torch. Torque. There's plenty of torches. Um, or if you, you search the room, there's probably a little lantern here. <laughs> yeah, looking up to the right, all you see is a uh, like a dead end. It looks like and it's caved I in. Go to the left. Excuse me, spiders. Could you just go down this this passageway right here? I'd love that. Thank you. I'm gonna have a. March. Oh no! There's so many choices. You you guys go this way, buds. Okay, I'm gonna go like I'm gonna peek down this way. What do I see down here? Okay, um, in there you see stairs leading up to what appears to be some other larger cave room. Stairs are fascinating. I want to go upstairs. Okay, um, before you I do that, uh, you. can you roll me... And Kurg, you're following her? Self, I am. I'm not letting her go alone. Okay, uh... <laughs> on, the, on that, I am going alone just to peek in the hallway over here. Kurg, I want you to roll me perception. I will... I will roll you this perception. The perception that you speak. I got a 12. A 12. Yes. Right. What do your dragon porn eyes see? <laughs> it's too dark! <laughs> <laughs> I see darkness everywhere! Dragon eyes. Old, old dragon eyes. They're very old. They're, they're, they're see- they're, Can I roll stealth to be I'm not um, go yeah, speak. if you want to do that. Before you do that, though, yeah. um, you are going to see uh, Kurg. Yes. You won't see so much as feel um, this. <laughs> oh, it's not that big. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is that? You will, you will feel this giant sloppy slushy mass 
attacking you from behind. Ah! Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's uncomfort. Yeah, with a fifteen to hit. That does not hit. Wait, Jim. sorry. Well, hold on. Add. I need to add to that. I think. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I have, it's I like one of those things off the internet. Don't worry, the spiders will save you. More spiders is the answer, always. <laughs> it's goopy. They're just gonna get stuck. Hey, Speedy. If I cast mm. this with a fifth level spell slot, I can add twice as many. Oh, that's a nineteen to hit. Do okay, not. that definitely hits. Do not bring in that many spiders. I can't do that <laughs> yet, but hey, eventually... Speed, yeah, speed, eventually don't, don't cool. worry, though. He can still cast this again once you kill all these spiders. Oh, yeah, of course. I get one more usage out of <laughs> I can... I'll make it less things. Is this concentration, by the way? It is concentration. It's for uh, now. I haven't taken any damage, though, so... No. no I, I might just hit him just to get rid of the spiders. <laughs> so, what happens to the... <laughs> So you are going to take 13 bludgeoning damage. Uh, uh, should we all roll initiative? Um, yeah. Bludgeoning or sludgeoning? Sludgeoning damage, yeah, obviously. Take sludgeoning damage. I'm sorry. So, if you're so Kaylin has night dark vision. I have dark vision, but Kirk does not. Nope. The spiders get a chance to go. Maybe. Um... How much damage do I take again? Uh, 13. 13. Oh, that hurts. Yeah. That hurts a lot. Mm-hmm. If only there were people with dark it? vision in the party. <laughs> yeah, this this Wait, giant yellow ooze has just hit you. Uh, nice. You don't know. You don't know how you didn't see it. it it's... Uh, it's not like huge or anything. It's you know maybe like three feet tall, um, okay. and it's but it's like very like gelatinous. Um, and it's like covered in the dirt from the yeah, like it's kind yeah. of covering. Uh, um, oh. Kurg at this point. Gross. Gosh. Um. Do I get to attack? Yeah. All right. I'm got, just gonna. Does he get bonus round since he got nat twenty on his initiative? Um. Yeah. I'll say you do. Okay, I'm gonna stab it with my trident. I'm gonna take the fight, uh, the the attack action, so I stab twice. You do get, you still have inspiration, by the way. Uh, uh, if I hit, I will. Okay, so the first one misses, but does the second one hit? Um, yeah, the second one will hit. Okay, uh, and that's a D8 of damage, did you say? No, no, inspiration is for any D20 roll. You like, can let's, add let's say that you rolled like a 15, I'm not sure if that hits. You can add a D8 to it. Yeah, you can roll okay. that. You can add that to the trident hit. Okay. Second. Yeah, but uh, I, I roll a five on that first one. Yeah. So I don't think that's gonna. I mean, I'm a not thirteen gonna, might hit. It's a sludge. But I would have to get eight on it. Yeah. I, mean, well, I was just. I was just letting you know you had the option. I'm the, so this is minutes. this is my bonus round, right? Yeah. So you get a, a, another round for the actual round of combat. Okay. So here's what I'm gonna do. Speedy. I attack it. I stab. Bop up. And then I'm gonna do bop up again. Do the bop up again. Right, yeah. Oh bop, my bop, god. Bop, bop to the top. Oh my god. Oh, oh, my god. <laughs> Your trident <laughs> breaks. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> you. This jelly is is holding your arms down, kind of. It's it's wrapped around you, and as you swing, you you're too close to Kaylin. You try and swing to hit this this thing behind oh, you no, at your at your back. You you hit the corner of the wall behind you with no. such great force that your trident becomes a bident. No, <laughs> it's because you're standing next to Lindsay. She's a bad luck magnet. This I am. I can't buy another one of these. <laughs> oh, no. I'm so heartbroken. No. Your your trident is How at this point. Uh, it's a a minus one to hit um, until you get it repaired. I'm so mad right now. Now you got a frog sticker. I'm all. Oh yeah, yeah. This is gonna go great in the. <laughs> this is gonna go great in the swamp. <laughs> I just can't wait. To me, uh, sorry. Go for it. Oh, spiders have an initiative of fourteen. Which prong broke off? Uh, the left one. 
if there well, is how is Pete well, and the spiders that. ahead of me in the order? <laughs> I rolled Eric a three. Of the north, thank you for that follow, man. Good yeah, I rolled a 15. You. It's all messed up. You guys are on the top. You're standing way too close to Kaylin, man. <laughs> to get away from me, man. Everyone just stay away. She's like, cursed. Yes. Stay Kaylin away. is cursed. There's a reason why she's ranged combat and not standing next to the tank. Like, literally, for those of you who weren't aware, like a couple episodes ago, she rolled... A, a roll, I don't know if it was with advantage or not, but it was, she rolled a nat 1, and she had a plus 5 on that roll. So it was two sixes, and then she rolled a 6 for the damage if it had hit. So she rolled literally 666 six, six in roll 20, and it was terrifying. Wow. <laughs> and then her bow broke. That was when Steve was wow. going to <laughs> And then you did it again last week. And then I did it again last week. Yeah, and I you broke just keep that breaking bow bows. I'm terrified. should stop giving you those. Too many nat 1s. <laughs> It's not giving me anything. Just let me. Just let me. Just stand there and look pretty. <laughs> you realize people are going to hear of the amazing Kaylin, and when you go to new shops and new new villages, and they realize who you are. They're like, no, 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 no. They will. They will Close gladly service. sell to you, but you will pay twice as much because they know you need the bow, and you will pay whatever you need to pay. <laughs> wow. wow. Okay. <laughs> Bleh. Terrible, terrible. So whose turn is it? It's uh, moving on down, Speedy. Mine? Uh, to Hedrick. Because Hedrick, Hedrick's only back there. He doesn't. I mean, Hedrick probably Hedrick. wouldn't have even known. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, no. I'm be... still. I'm doing my own thing. Just... Nobody's. Nobody screamed out. Oh, there's a slime thing. I mean, Kurg would just be so shocked that his trident broke. He would just be like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> okay. Well, first things first, Speedy. I was checking out that hallway there. What do I see with my half elven eyes? Uh, my brand. Yeah. <laughs> my Let's brand. See. What do you see? I don't know. I'm asking. <laughs> you see a hallway. Uh, <laughs> okay. Do I see do anything? That's funny. You can see at the end of the hallway, like it kind of opens up into another room. You can't quite see what's in it. Okay. So, do I hear anything from the last six seconds of combat? Uh, what's your passive perception? Like 17. Really good. Yeah, you heard it. I did? You All heard, right. You heard a, a wet slosh and Kurg being very frustrated. Dude, right. we'll have a spider replace the one thing on your on your trident. It'll feel like the same thing. <laughs> Somebody suggested it. Would... See, and it was, it was Kalen that said, fuck the spiders, instead of them running point. I'm just saying. I mean... I'm doing great right now. <laughs> I have full health. This is this actually behind me? Is this actually to scale? Because I feel like, given the size of the squares, that that's a really long distance to actually be sixty feet. Or is it actually sixty feet? No, that's it's actually supposed to be that size. That's kind of that's also why the sturges were like so small on the map. Okay, so this is actually six like sixty feet. Mm -hmm. That's a feet? very long hallway. Okay, then. These are mines. They're not like it's not like a house of a manor or yeah. something. Fine. Um, I guess I'll just uh, dash up to here. Hey, friends. <laughs> How far can I get? Like, eh, eh. Yeah, that's, that's nice probably be. there. Okay. And I'll I'll call out to uh to Flurry as I pass her. Hey, there's shit happening. <laughs> nice. Uh, don't know what shit, but there's some shit happening. All right, yeah. Caleb, Girl. it's your turn. Oh, yeah. You turn around and see this gelatinous mass on top of Kurg, <laughs> and Kurg frustrated at his broken trident. What Kurg is gonna do? Seeing that Kurg's in trouble, but also knowing that he's a dragonborn, I am going to cast <laughs> Cordon of Arrows, and I'm gonna place four arrows. Right next to Kurg and the slime monster. And so whenever he gets in with, what is it, 30 feet? He'll, like, I can choose for it not to hit Kurg, which is good for him. <laughs> but anyone within 30 feet, leaving or entering, or within range, mm -hmm. can, one of the arrows can shoot. And if he leaves the area, another mm -hmm. arrow can shoot. This says, until it spells, spells whenever a creature other than you comes within 30 feet of it. It yeah, but doesn't at the bottom, if you cast a yeah. spell, you can designate any creature you choose. Ah, okay, never mind. Sorry. Yeah, I don't but, have any yeah, character. So, 
That you had to have cast that before he got into your range. Yeah. It well, uh, well, I'd say she can put it like, now. It just won't affect it, it until its yeah. next turn. I'm putting it. But it lasts for eight hours. In front so. of me to separate me and them, and then I'm gonna go up the stairs. Okay. I'm Alone. Leave Kirk. You're, you're I'm leaving Kurt. You're just going Kirk. up the stairs. All right. <laughs> I'm going upstairs. I'm leaving him behind. And everyone else. Oh well, he is a dragonborn, of course. He's a dragonborn. He can fight for himself. <laughs> All right. You're really racist. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. All right, you uh, you walk up the stairs, and as you approach, you so hear like here, yeah. you hear the sounds of crunching and gnawing, and. Uh, can't say anything yet, but no knowing what to know. No creatures, at least. Um, as you as you walk in, you notice uh, this entire horde of ghouls. Mm, all man, turn we had... and look directly at you. Oh my! Man, if only we had a bunch of spiders for these things to combat. <laughs> It's and that coming. is where we're ending the session. <laughs> oh my god. You walked into a room of death. I just like, I gulp. <laughs> That's what racism will yeah. get you. Oh boy! <laughs> <laughs> well look what we have here. See, this is what happens when you try to make Findelver great again. <laughs> so yeah, this is uh, we're going to be ending the session right in the middle of combat right here. We'll uh, do this all is pretty this great. stuff. Um, I approve. Yeah, this I has been a lot of fun. Sorry about the the late start, uh, technical difficulties, OBS being dumb, and all that. You know, roll um, twenty also. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, but uh, roll and roll twenty in the middle. Yeah, just everything broken today. Nothing ever worked when I wanted to, including your trident. How dare you! <laughs> It's like really just oh. Kaylin. I have. It's really just yeah, Lindsay. It's, it's, I have to say. I mean, anyone that's, anyone that's in the vicinity of me or that is me. It can't just be a coincidence well. that when everyone's right next to you, we start rolling poorly, <laughs> <laughs> including the enemies. Double ones though. Yeah. Double ones. I, I did make one of the, the, I, I made the ghoul roll on that one. <laughs> yeah. Lindsay, I don't understand what your problem is. Like, they're gonna just let them get killed. When we started <laughs> out this campaign, I would roll so well. All the time. Yeah, and I've been I consistently roll rolling anything. well. <laughs> Things have changed. Do you have different so, dice? No, it's all just been roll twenty. It's all roll twenty. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> roll twenty is cursed today, or I guess in general for the. It's, whole. No, it's, it's I think. It's just it's <laughs> I'm actually fairly certain that roll twenty going down was part of Kalen's aura. Mm -hmm, probably. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Roll twenty is for its randomly yes. generated thing no, uses earlier. like weather data or something, right? <laughs> the weather has just not been in Lindsay's favor. No. When I got in it earlier, I was by myself and it was doing that, and then you guys got here and it was fine. <laughs> when I first got in, it wasn't working. Yeah. yeah it's all right. Well, um, that was an awesome game. Thank you guys so much. Oh, yeah. We're gonna go around and everyone can say who you are, where you can find you on the internet, and what you thought of today's session. Uh, we'll start on the left with our guest today, Lisa. Uh, I'm Lisa Lee, and I am Danger Lily on Twitch, and I am Lisa Bell on Twitter, and you can find me on April 9th on Not So Speedruns, doing Woo! a one-shot of Blades in the Dark, which is going to be amazing! Oh, it's going to be so good. It's going to be so good. Um, there was a little delay on us doing this, but I'm really excited to get this done. And uh, another D and D. And Saturday night, I'm on uh, uh, Riding Moon on Exploding Dice with not so speed runs and yeah. four. Man, I think he might have a crush on you. Like he just keeps getting you to hang out with him and like using D and D excuse. What? I will. I will. I will do game with I anyone. Yo, first. <laughs> is mine. I was here before right. you. So thanks. Yeah, that was awesome. Spicy. Yes, and it's fun playing a bard. It's so fun playing a bard. Me and you forever. I'm so glad. Yay! I'm glad you had a good time. Hey, is there, any, love. is there any way that she can come back next week also, so that our bard doesn't disappear in the <laughs> lost mines? <laughs> oh, um, we'll see. No, we shall no. see. You gone? I went to say like, hey, shit's happening. Yeah. You were just uh, like, she, she made, made it. She magically like an outline of you like in the cartoons. <laughs> 
<laughs> so like probably in where you used to be. Week, you know. Right. Yeah. The little chalk outline. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, thank you so much. Uh, let's go to the next person, Pablo. Hi, I I do the streaming thing at Pablo. dot com. This Pablo. dot com. Pablo. dot com. That is then I did a caster command for myself. Um, Rude. I've been playing this game called Hollow Knight. That's a lot of fun. I'm really sorry for the spider thing. I didn't think you'd, you know. I thought I thought I mean <laughs> it, it was just such a good idea. I couldn't help myself. It is a really good idea. <laughs> spider is awesome. It is this, very overpowered. It's, it's really Being good. Able to summon eight of anything is like overpowered. <laughs> like it doesn't matter how weak the creature points. is. Um, next time, just eight kittens. Yeah, mm -hmm. next, uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll limit it down well, to, like, bigger creatures, I guess, next meow. time. I just really, like, the thing is, in that category, Two nothing dragons. could turn into, like, a fish, which is would be really bad. I didn't want, like, eight just reef sharks just sitting on the ground. That would have been really bad. So I was like, yeah. let's go with the category without fish things. <laughs> or ra eight ravens, eight kittens. No, I mean, uh, I, I mean, I'm, I'm like choosing the uh, the creatures that appear, but uh, it's not like entirely random. I wouldn't just give you fish. I would choose something that kind of yeah. fits the setting. Something that could be feasibly um, alive in this situation. If you want to change the spell, if you think it's too good, we can talk about it uh, at some point. Yeah, I'll probably talk to you about that because it's it's a bit much. I mean, like the fact is, it's like you, you summoned eight spiders, which is a lot. You could have just as easily summoned a single bear, which would yeah. have been also like crazy. <laughs> And then you could have turned bears, into actually. a bear and fought alongside your actually, bear companion. Actually, I can't command them if I'm an animal. But you can command like, them the once is, to attack. The thing is, I was but just I worried that if I... Them. That's true. It's but true. I have to command them, is the thing. I, would, I was just worried I would summon, like, a fish, and then I'd be like, oh, no, now we've got, like, my wasted my third level spell slot. <laughs> so. No, I'd say that probably wouldn't happen. Okay. Well, yeah. if that's the case, then I will refrain from summoning eight spider things. <laughs> <laughs> but they're so cute, don't you think, you know? I mean, you could also do it in the future where he can summon up to eight, but it has a roll of one d eight to see how many he summons. No, it's it's based on how oh, powerful the creature is. It, like these things are really weak, so I get to summon eight of them. I get summon like one really big thing. I get summon like a dinosaur. Ooh, yeah. Uh, anyway, sorry. <laughs> you don't have to apologize. It's okay. He's gonna, he's gonna do Jurassic World. <laughs> I'm just gonna kill off all those spiders and say like there's something in the mind that is just poisoned the spiders. Can I get my spell slot back? <laughs> no. Uh, or maybe they, maybe they. No, I'm not actually gonna kill there. off your spiders. It's fine. Okay, that's. Well, I did it. I did my turn as quickly as possible. Yeah, no, it's okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right, thank you so much, Pablo, and absolutely go check him out. Yeah, he was playing Hollow Knight the other day, which is a really cool game. So give Pablo a follow. He's he's wonderful and a good friend of mine. All right, next up four. It's me! Thor! My name is Thor. I am on the Twitch thing on the forefront, and I have a Twitter called On the Forefronts, and nothing really happens there as of yet. I'm, I'm in the middle of moving, so once that's done, I'm going to start uh, progress on preparing several uh, content streams that are going to be D&D games and stuff as well as other little projects that I've got going. I'll be, I don't know, playing video games here and now, but not often because I'm very new to this. And I just like hanging out with people, so that's where you can find me. Oh. Well, you know what? People, especially like these people, like hanging out with you. Mm-hmm. We're, we're all You're big awesome. fans of four. Well, thanks. <laughs> I appreciate it. I'm really <laughs> sorry about you. It's true. And I'm glad that everybody who watches watches, and you're amazing, especially Ayami. We're glad that you're fine, and Yami, you're yeah. awesome. Yeah. Love you. It was, uh, it was a scary start of the stream, but she's... Oh my gosh. Right? Yeah. right? <laughs> but yes. Oh my gosh, it's okay. I have presented myself. And yes. have a splendid Thank night. you so much for the indomitable no floor. Uh, next up, Lindsay. Yeah, hi. Um, I'm Lindsay underscore Mank on most social media platforms or on twitch i'm lindsay fps with two y's because lindsay with one i was taken <laughs> <laughs> you can find me just around obviously hanging out playing games sometimes streaming hardly <laughs> i'm working a lot <laughs> but if you ever want to chat i'm always here just chilling yeah go check out lindsay she's really cool um even if she doesn't stream that often anymore she's still top-notch streamer so, absolutely, go check her out. Um, and last but not least, Ishman. 
I cannot hear you, Shman. Oh no! <laughs> He's gonna he's gonna give us outro on sign language. You, you need to say the things. Use your words. What have you done, Ishman? You were <laughs> fine up until this point. Can you hear me now? Yo, yes. 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 There's okay. a lot of echo also. also. God damn, stop talking then. Hold on, I got this. <laughs> Are you gonna... Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay, is that better? Yes. <laughs> All right. So the headphones are awesome, but I had to buy like a connector, a little like wide adapter for them mm -hmm. because it's the two. It's like the mic Xbox and the headphone. Thing, yeah. Yeah. So the one I got, some Chinese company. Ah. <laughs> So it was the only one on all of fucking Amazon that fit mm -hmm. my need. Dicks. It's a lifetime guarantee though, so I'll get another shitty one in the mail. Um anyhow, so yeah, I'm Ishman223 on the Twitch and the Twitters and on the Not So Speed Runs and on the uh, Rathian Gamings and like everywhere else and kind of roleplay and all that junk. You can find me pretty much anywhere, um, if you look hard enough. Uh I don't recommend you do that though. I'm kinda weird. Uh you can <laughs> Always talk to me, though, if you want. I'm usually in the voice chat on either Wrath or Speedy's Discord. I'll be there later tonight if you want to come say hi and play golf with me or, like, take it to ride because I got my Steam account back. Yes. Fuck you, hackers in, in fucking Russia. <laughs> America. Nice. Mar yeah, the ish man is cool. Even if he doesn't do things, he's pretty cool. I do things all the time. Oh, yes. I might even stream again. Take back. Do it. We're Maybe I will. We're, we're all waiting, okay? The world is waiting. I'll start streaming like two people will show up. <laughs> oh, my. All right. <laughs> um, thank you guys so much for coming out here and playing. We're going to go ahead and go off on a raid just to end this off. Um, and we're going to go ahead and raid uh, our friend Lanthios. Lanthios is a really cool dude. If you watched the one shot that we had yesterday, he was a guest star on that as well. Um and he's a fantastic streamer, like a mentor to me, so uh, definitely go check him out. We're going to put the uh, code, the, uh, the link right in there. All right, guys, okay. if you don't get a global ban, you're not doing it right. That's damn right. Damn. Yeah, so uh, we did that with uh, with our last raid of uh, Spivey. We absolutely destroyed him. <laughs> Good. Um, Good. But yeah, go ahead, uh, click that link, copy and paste the thing that's in chat right there without the quotes, and uh, you're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go to his channel, show him some love. So I'm ready you when you are. So much for watching. Cool. This has been so much fun. I will see you all next time. And as always, don't forget to take it slow. Bye. 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 All right. Adorable. I, 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 All right, let's I, I'm so sorry, Speedy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it didn't seem like it. I, I, I turned a 